come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hello, and thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Every Saturday, a group of internet radio superstars gathers in a dank, dark basement to watch a movie that's chosen by one of the said internet radio superstars. We watch it with fresh eyes and then sit down and talk about it for your education and listening pleasure. Who are these internet radio superstars? Michaela. Holly. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watch the movie that was chosen by... Sean. Sean. (laughs) <laughs> Good job. What did we watch tonight, Sean? We watched 2002's Halloween Resurrection. What? I thought we were watching Urban Legend. Uh, yeah, what? I know. What happened? I got the Halloween bug this week at work. And because I was just it's like, May. Because it's middle of May, yeah. and I was feeling like... It's usually uh, when it comes around. Yeah. You're like, it can't wait <laughs> Halloween six months. is not a one time of the year thing it's for every me, day. Colin, okay? <laughs> every day. I like to enjoy the series throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And I got the bug for it, and I'm just like... Mm. I think I'm going to pick a Halloween for the freak show. But you'd already picked it. Okay, Mike. Well, now, <laughs> see, this is the third Halloween I've picked. This now, is also true. You can go back, listener, and listen to our reviews of Halloween 3 Season of the Witch, <laughs> chosen by... Sean. Uh, Halloween... <laughs> 6, the, the producer's cut, Yep, chosen oh, by uh-oh. me as well. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Now, I seem to pick... The worst of the Halloween series, <laughs> huh, but there's many reasons for that. <laughs> First of all, I'm, I'm a glad very... you're able to admit. Oh that no, you no, have a problem. No, I know, I do have a problem. I'm a very big Halloween fan. Uh, it's my favorite horror franchise, especially because um, the Halloween series has turned into the uh, choose your own adventure book of horror franchises at this point. Because if you look at it. There's a lot of avenues or a lot of things you can get out of the Halloween series. You've got part one and part two, which kind of lead off into part seven and part eight. You've got your part three, which is just a, a random thing in the middle of the series. You've got a nice little trilogy in the middle of four, five, and six. It's true. Uh-huh. It's very true. <laughs> and you've got uh, the remakes in Rob Zombie's Halloween one and two. Like the continuity for this series is... Is so what splintered out there. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't exist. That's I'm glad you said franchise, where the yeah. evil Bob and Harvey Weinstein are out there just handing this thing off to whoever wants to yeah. sign up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give us another one. And, well, and that's the thing. Mustafa it's about Akkad, to be splintered again. Mm-hmm. Because from what I've been hearing recently, because they're making another one, ladies and gentlemen, but they're going to, and who knows if this will stick f- towards it, but um, they're going to make the next one as a shoot off of one and two. This is what I've heard recently. Mm-hmm. So they'll do one, two, and then this will be the next one. Well, and Danny McBride, one of the new writers and creators behind this new split off, has said that he will not be invincible and immortal in this new series. He Ooh. wants to make him scarier and more human-like. Mm-hmm. So who knows what that means? Who knows what that uh, means? We'll find out. Who knows? But we don't... That makes it more interesting, though, I think. Mm-hmm. I think For it sure. could. Um, I Definitely. don't know that we're going to have Bob and Harvey uh, meddling in this, because it's no, a Blumhouse production fine. now. <laughs> that's yeah. fine. Right, which is perfectly fine with me. Well, they took over what? They took over with part six, The Curse of Michael Myers. That was the first Dimension films. I think so, because five was still like Trankus, Trankus and, International. And, yeah. yeah. Yeah, six was their first one, and that one did very well. <laughs> um, is that the one with Paul Rudd? Yes, that's yeah. the one with Paul Rudd. Um, yeah. from, from an era where horror movies weren't known to be very good, the 90s. Uh, which is uh, where part six came from. But again, I have a fascination with this series because it's my favorite. But the parts I have a fascination with aren't necessarily the good movies. And I picked this one tonight because this is technically the franchise killer <laughs> <laughs> of the Halloween series. Because this this ended it. Uh-huh. After until this, it was Rob done. Yeah. Until Rob Zombie. But this was done. Yeah. There was nothing after this. So at some point in your week, you were like, no, fuck those guys. Fuck, we're going to yeah. watch something exactly. else. You know what it we're was? Watch this. He, he, he could sense that we kind of wanted to watch Urban Legend. He was yeah. like, no, we can't have that. We need like, to make them watch something she, they don't want to watch. Mm, she's way too excited <laughs> about Jared Leto. I'm going to kill that. I cannot have this. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, I will ruin your evenings. <laughs> And I will pick probably the worst Halloween of them all. Is it worse than H2? Oh, is it? You'll I have to stick around until the after H2? the mailbag to hear our final wrap-ups oh. if we don't like key this off. Like, uh, right. Well, I mean, do I hate enough? Do I hate it enough to to do you hate not it, recommend it? Do you hate it so you much you love it? I don't know. We'll don't find know. out. It does have Buster Rhymes. It does have Buster Rhymes. The Buster Rhymes. The Buster Rhymes. I mean, it worked out in the previous version with L Cool J. 
He was in that movie. You say worked out. What do you mean uh, by worked out? <laughs> in, in that I mean he wasn't Busta Rhymes in this movie. Uh, like, he's yeah. not, it's not bad. Like, he's wait, wait, wait. LL, LL Cool, cool J, J yeah. in, in part H2O. seven, in H2O. Yeah. He's, so that one, bad. so part seven ignores three, or sorry, uh, four, five, and six. Yes. And says, okay, we're going to be, so this is the first one that said, we're going to wipe the slate clean. We're going to yes. go back to following number two. But it had Jamie Lee Curtis coming back to the series. And it's like, we're going to be able to finally was continue she, her was story. Was she contractually obligated? Yes, she yes. was. Yes. She was. To appear okay. in this yep. movie. Okay. A minimum 30 second cameo, but okay. you can see they got the most out of her they could they contractually. Did. Because she said later on that um, early stories, like when the movie first came out, um, as part of a PR piece it had to be, was is that she found the the story so interesting <laughs> that she wanted to be in it more. I don't believe you, it's, sir. It's not true. It's not true at all. Not later on, she has said that the movie was a joke, that the reason she did it this way is to make sure that her character died so that they could stop Lori bringing Strode her back. would not be coming yeah, back and hell? she would not be coming Why back. Why wouldn't you put that in your contract for H2O or, you know, the uh, I don't know. H20? I don't, I don't H2. think H2O. We're not contract lawyers, Colin. We can't yeah, answer those I questions. Doubt, <laughs> I doubt she had that. Uh, but this is I'm, I'm sure it was like, we're you know, not making it unless you unless Yeah, the you idea that you would be in this movie that's going to be the end all capper to the Laurie Strode saga. We're going to come back. We're going to do H2O. We're going to, you know, but. End but, it, but we're going to we end need, it almost perfectly. Yeah, but we mm-hmm. need you to sign something in your contract that says, if, if this one's successful, we want to bring you back for the next one. It's like so mercenary. This is problem mm-hmm. number one. This is problem <laughs> number one because <laughs> Mustafa Akkad. Was not going to let this series die. They they deviated in the third one, and they already saw that that had uh, was not good for the series. No one liked that movie. I mean, it's had a resurgence lately. Um, which, no, none of us falsely so. No, I don't yeah. think we're all under. Which no one at this table understands that. No, no there's we, this no. thing now CRB where everybody podcast. takes. Uh, right, there's this like reappreciation of uh, movies. Mm-hmm. I get. Yeah, well, I mean that was the '80s, but I just saw Bloody Disgusting this week had a thing in defense of Alien versus Predator. It's like some yeah. at some point this has to stop. Contrarianism. <laughs> it's yeah. being contrary. Oh, yeah. It is. Yeah. It's, Let's mm-hmm. go back and look at Halloween it's Three. Fad. It's great, isn't it? If you just look at it, it's not a Halloween movie. No, 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 no. No, but it is. So it you sucks. can't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We yeah. know because we tried. We watched. We tried. We looked. That's. Right. I mean, this is. That's what I'm doing here, man. This is almost like a scientific <laughs> study. Yeah. I'm gonna bring in these parts, and I'm like, why? Yeah. Who said yes? Why did they? Yeah, and why the concept that they came up? Well, okay. Well, first of all, let's deal with the prologue, right? Oh, well, yeah. Bringing... This is. I mean, this is where we are in the Halloween series. It, yep. We had part seven, H two O, twenty years. After the original, Laurie Strode comes back, Michael comes back, you know, they they finally meet and end it once and for all. Or so we thought. Yeah, she beheads him. She beheads him in what is a great capper for the series. Michael because is dead. No coming back Laurie's from that. alive. Mm-hmm. No coming back from that. Yeah. You would think. Should've you would think. But it did well. And you can't just let a franchise be done with a, a high grossing and <laughs> Surely series. not. No. 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 There is more money to be wrung dry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, See, what else? This dead horse franchise. can be beaten more. <laughs> what else does the Akkad family have going? Oh, and uh, you know, rest in peace, Mustafa Akkad. He uh, oh, yes, died in a died hijacked in a... plane crash, right? No, it I was think he a got bombed. Terrorist bombing in a yeah. wedding. I think it was yeah. his daughter or gotcha. something. Or, yeah, Wolf. it was very yeah. yeah. Was so now awful. Malik Akkad mm-hmm. yeah. is uh, in charge of the Halloween series, right? Mm-hmm. And now it's transferred over to Blumhouse. Yeah. So I got to keep. I mean, that's the thing that keeps the family. That's you know. Yeah. Keeps the family money coming in. Yeah. Sean, do you realize this is the second movie in a row you've picked that starts with a Jamie Lee Curtis voiceover? Oh. <laughs> oh Escape from L.A. Well, we we uh, determined previous... that Escape from L.A. was not Jamie Colin, Lee Curtis. It was not? Yep. Colin, Colin, likes it it Colin likes to think it's not. Because I have her, I got her name, but I can't remember what it was. Everything I've read, he got a name of a person who is only uh, credited with doing the voiceover for Escape, Escape from, from LA, L.A. and Escape from New York. Same woman, I think. Because was if on you there. really, because if you look at IMDb, they say it's Jamie Lee Curtis. Right, a lot of places we say it's Jamie IMDb. Lee Curtis. Yeah, I mean it's possible, but I there's always been that. Yeah, everyone said it's Jamie Lee Curtis. Well, I think we'll never know unless we ask Jamie Lee Curtis. One of the great mysteries of life, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Unless, <laughs> <laughs> well, so that'll you know, be. Why are we here? What's our Jamie purpose? I know you're on. I know you're on your deathbed. I know you're on your deathbed, Miss Curtis. But could you please tell me? <laughs> did you do the narration for Escape from LA? Yeah. Maybe. 
Anyone can anyone can write it and solve this mystery for yeah, us. Yeah, let us know. Has anyone out there talked to the Kurdish lately? Can look it up on the IMDb? Okay, so anyway. Yeah, yeah, you can we did that's look not trustworthy, IMDb. Colin. They don't correct. know. <laughs> so Jamie Lee Curtis does appear in this film, but now because she, she beheaded... Uh, okay, so well, this is the first like bit of retconning that this movie's writer has to undergo. Yes. At the beginning, like, how do you explain that Michael Myers was not beheaded at the end of the last <laughs> film? So a couple the of nurses <laughs> have this really long, complicated. <laughs> it's a Scooby Doo ending. It yeah. is a Scooby Doo ending. ending. <laughs> Pull the mask off. Really <laughs> oh my god! I am so Scooby Doo Michael Myers. I am yeah, so did. angry <laughs> with the beginning of this movie. No, you so love it. So angry. Love it. No, I don't. I am so that. Maybe that's the other reason I brought this. I'm angry at this movie, and I want to get my frustrations <laughs> out there, maybe for the final time with this. So this uh, is therapy this the for you, right? All. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I can look at other people and yell and be like, "Why?" <laughs> because it's the most ridiculous thing in the world. Because right. like you said, they have the long, protracted explanation of why she's in the mental hospital three years after the event. Guilt for Guilt. beheading a innocent An man. innocent man, which apparently, at the end of H2O, Michael has somehow switched uniforms and places with a paramedic. Crushed his windpipe so he Crushed can't talk. So he can't talk. Put him in the mask and everything. And that is who Jamie Lee Curtis killed at the end of H2O. During this process... Michael is apparently walking around maskless, maybe, we don't know, right. with a knife in a paramedic's and just, uniform. In a paramedic's right. and just walks off the property. What does Michael Myers look like at this point? Because I thought he was burned. I thought he's of, burned. Oh, he's shit. Burned. Yeah, we're not, no. He's yeah. A, supposedly burned. I think B, if you go back and look at the footage, like if you slowed it down of the flashbacks and everything, Have I'm pretty sure he's still got this, that. Sean? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Supposedly, I like the way you said that. Supposedly, but I've done this. I've actually, I've that. actually done this. Yeah. Yeah. But I, he's still got the mask on. <laughs> what? So he has two masks. He has a backup yeah, one. See, he I has extras. But like, if yeah. you're Michael Myers, I mean, come on, that's what uh, you would have. You'd carry a spare. Yeah. You just would. Uh, yes, so. you just one would. in your hip pocket. Another yeah. question: What cop walks up to a uh, a, a, a head that has been decapitated and, pulls and just the pulls the mask off barehanded? Yeah. Who does this? Movie cops. What uh, rogue, rogue cops? Yeah. I'm so angry with the people, <laughs> but oh. he's on the zombie squad. Yeah, yeah. and he's I a always tough thought cop does things his way. Yeah, <laughs> and for the longest time, really. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> oh, if only Tom Atkins would have had a cameo. Oh, something like that that, that would have made this. That would have redeemed better. this whole movie. Honestly, uh, like one one nice like, like bone to throw to the real fans. Like right, that would have like been great if he came in later. As like the quote unquote Loomis character and Brayson's yeah. like, we've got to get you out of here. Michael's here, and he just starts clearing people out. There is no Loomis him. character in this movie, no. and that's why it feels that's like it's missing something. A number one, why this uh, there's a problem. I almost <laughs> said things. Why there's a problem with this movie? Mm-hmm. Um, where was that? Uh, my Jimmy anger. Curtis. Yeah, you're yeah. angry. My anger. My anger. Yeah. All right, because so, he's wearing the mask. Rage. Oh, let me lean yeah. back on the couch. And yeah. <laughs> my rage toward this movie. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, the cop, the horrible cop who pulls off the mask and everything. Um, I mean, fuck, man. That yeah. beginning. But then the, like, it's, it's the nurses, and then the exposition guy with the, it's like the serial killer fan. Now. I do like him. Do you? I'm not gonna lie. He gets the facts wrong about the about the how many people got killed. He's very Halloween. wrong. He's very he's wrong. Two people off. Yeah, that's a huge margin. This is the other thing that makes me angry <laughs> about this. For people that live in Haddonfield, where this all happened, yeah. they should know all this. They, like, they, they should, should know, all this. know this. Not yeah. only that, but the, fi- the filmmakers and the writers should know this information. All you have to do is watch the fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Isn't how do you not right know there, this? Right? And the Isn't Acads it? have been on board for how long at this point? Right. Like, and the it's, Acads have been around for a while. So. And it's Rick Rosenthal. He directed yeah. the second one. Exactly. And he's back for this one. Yep. Rick Rosenthal is the yeah, director but of this See, this is, this is the thing I think that horror fans have always feared about the people who are actually making the movies that they like. That they right don't there. care they about don't care. They, they have no idea. They, they are that. not fans yeah. of no. the stuff that they're doing. This no. is just a job because the Akkads go and the Weinsteins, every year we got to put out a Halloween movie. Who can do it? Rosenthal's free. The fans will love him because he did another one. What's mm-hmm. he been doing lately? Nothing. Can He's he directing direct? random no. TV episodes. Right. That doesn't matter. He directed the second one right there. You've right. Got, you know, Until somebody else had to come in and direct better parts of the movie for him. <laughs> yeah. Let's get that guy. Is that true? Yeah, Carpenter came in and and oh, really? the second, for the second yeah. one for the second one. Yeah, Carpenter had to come in and shoot. Uh, I need more to go back and rewatch that, everybody. but it's very obvious well, what Carpenter. Just it might, it's, yeah. I mean, it's the you know, scenes the where there's more gore, gore and everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 
But he wasn't happy about it, I guess. But he did the carpenter came in and did the gore scene. This is Halloween two we're talking yes. about. Came in and did the gore scenes because the studio wanted it to match the Friday Thirteenth movies. And he also, while he was there, uh, shot three scenes for the television version of Halloween. So that mm-hmm. was when they oh, shot yeah, those right. scenes was when he was doing the research shoots on Halloween too. Right. Yeah. That's very true. In addition to not only getting the victims wrong, this is like re- real deep nerd stuff. So most people probably won't notice, Lay but we'll get us. into it. So the same guy that names like his, the number of victims uh-huh. also gets his birth date wrong. Um, According to everywhere on the internet, it is October nineteenth, and he says October fifteenth. And I noticed I that. He and I was said like, nineteenth. I thought he said. I thought, 19, oh, I thought he said fifteenth. Maybe nineteenth, nineteen fifty-seven. I think yeah. he did. So right. that's what was another thing I was waiting for. Is I was waiting for when they took his mask off to see how young he was, because I was like, he's supposed to be like forty-five years old at this mm-hmm. point. So I was like, if this is like a twenty-some-year-old dude, they're really really stretching some and logic kind of, here. He feels like he's a 20-something year yeah. old dude because it feels like there's a child in this suit for most of this movie for how big and huge and baggy it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but well, he's also been hanging out like, I mean, it was a stretch, I guess. Cats? Yeah. Yeah, when we saw Halloween H2O, it was, you were supposed to just assume that Michael Myers is out fucking living the high life or something for 20 fucking years. The Miller high life. Right? And it's then Miller just time. decides at one point, like, hey, I'm going to go week. kill my sister because that's what you do. Like 20 years later, why not? I wouldn't mm-hmm. do it like the year after because I was burned and whatever. 20 years later, I'm just gonna. What's he been doing all this time? Mm-hmm. And just this was three years later. He's okay. just been waiting. Sorry, just that's one of those. But like, how is he like subsisting? You know, like, how I mean, is he like. Well, yeah. we have an answer to that in the in we this do. movie. I think this, uh, they're trying to crack the code Barely. of like, what has he been doing all this time? So I wish his bed was made rats. when they went down there. <laughs> it's like he wakes up and makes his bed right? every morning. Okay, what was <laughs> up with dishes in the sink? What was up with the doll with the nail eyes? They oh, really ha- they really held on that for a long time, like yeah. it was going to be important, and yeah, then it see, meant nothing. nothing. Colin's got it. <laughs> yeah, it's because that she kept on looking at him that he had to kill her. No, I don't know. So he puts <laughs> nails in the eyes of the doll. I don't because know. Because it's not... It's a cheap uh, it's attempt. Cheap, yeah. at, well, I don't even know if it it's is an attempt filler. at, at yeah. psychology. They're just like, yeah, eh, just, that this would will be, be creepy. Cool. Yeah, yeah, like it's it. He's yeah. got dolls because he's a child in his head, right? Yeah. It like almost Norman feels like... There was, like a, there was some weird subtext with the the fact that Jamie Lee Curtis had a doll as well. Like a, There was some sort mm. of connection that was supposed to be there. Sure. I didn't get it. Was it the same doll? It was a similar doll. It was both like raggedy. They are both like ragged dolls like yeah. different yeah. versions of Raggedy Ann and Andy. Mm-hmm. So I think there was supposed to be some sort of symbolic tie there but I, I don't think they ever actually made the effort to no. make sure You can stop one. right there. I don't think yeah. they actually they made, made the, the effort. 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 That, yeah. yeah. That be the pull quote yeah. for yeah. the poster. They're like, the yeah, that's cool but there was no like yeah. legit subtext. I think they just wanted there to be. And they get rid of Jamie Lee Curtis then before the opening title by mm-hmm. killing her off. Michael does kill her because the of bone-headed the I, you know, Yeah, she traps him well, lucky. All- She's so lucky that she traps yeah. him. Yeah. That he got into the uh, she Roadrunner. She the uh, snare, yeah. <laughs> like fucking- a six-inch snare. Yeah. Uh, Seriously. It totally is Roadrunner coyote. Yeah. Like, it really whoop. is. Yeah, Foot she pulls hangs you up him a up tree. There, it's like, all you got to do now is leave him there and call the cops. Yeah. yeah. That's all she had to do. Yeah. She didn't have to cut him out. She nope. could have just left him there. But yep. she's crazy. You know, she killed an innocent man. She, she's crazy now. <laughs> That's it. Well, this is also like right off the bat, you're kind of, you know, I mean, whatever hope that you had going into the movie with like, oh, it's Rick Rosenthal returning to the, you know, he directed one of the stylish Halloween movies. Mm-hmm. But this is goes to show like how much the cinematographer Dean Cundy had to do with the staging and the photography and the style that, you know, we attribute to John Carpenter mm-hmm. is a lot of that, I think, is Dean Cundy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah. he is sorely missed for every single mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. episode yeah. after that but at the beginning of this you know when you see michael myers within like two minutes of the opening yep right uh, in there yeah, right yeah and right away you're like oh no this is what we're doing it's just a dude like walking around he's kind of like you ever been to you know one of those like halloween uh you, you know a, like halloween a, the house like the a, halloween haunted, haunted house yeah and just like, like halloween around horror outside. nights yeah. yeah and that was what it was yeah. like it was yeah. like exactly this is the dude like. walks yes. around in the parking lot of the yep. house. yes the overly yeah. yep. wrist baggy thing mm-hmm. yeah. the mask that doesn't quite fit the collar popped up the mask that like they bought at like party city for like yeah. 30 bucks yeah the mask doesn't dude, look which i'm pretty sure i had that mask i was mike myers for michael myers for like Two years, I think. Nice. <laughs> nice. So, so, so the second year was just like, 
Oh, I gotta go to a thing. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, oh, Michael Myers. I had like an old yeah. snowmobile suit. And I was like, that, there you go. I was a legit 12 year old. There pretty sure <laughs> if they're showing close ups to the mask, this one had guy liner. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Dark circles around yeah. the eyes. And it I'm looked like sure. like the creases of it were exaggerated with mm-hmm. like yeah, a darker he had, he had paint, darker you know, to like, cheeks. yeah. Make, to enhance his cheekbones. Yeah. I know what you're saying, Lister. Why are we spending so much time talking about the mask? But this is important, important. Like this is nerd stuff important. when it gets down to it Halloween just doesn't look right. and it the Friday 13th right. movies. And, right. And this is yeah, exactly yeah. this is the stuff you talk about when you talk about these movies yeah. because I mean, like I mean, they've, well, they've turned this into like a cottage industry now. Yeah. I know they yeah. have with at least the Jason mask. You got it like each different episode or installment. You know, like. Mm-hmm. Just because the you know the does it triangles have, does it, are in the triangles place. does it have the axe mark where are yep. the holes right. how, dirty how is long it? is it is it rounder is it long mm-hmm. how dirty is the chunk missing from the left mm-hmm. this is a thing can you yeah. identify if you had a photo of like all the masks from all the Halloween movies can you identify yes them? oh yeah oh, Hall- yes, Halloween I, I can. could do the other ones <laughs> Friday the thirteenth I could probably could do, do well. Friday the thirteenth Halloween easily enough do Halloween well. no problem I think it was like I think six is my least favorite one because like the hair is like I like six and it's like. The, looks like a space helmet almost. I like, like six. <laughs> six is not bad. Six is uh, well because it, it was it George like Wilbur in that version. one, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, I feel like it's a rougher version of the mask. Um, I, I'm okay with that one. It's a little later on when they yeah. get into like the hospital at the end and they show the close-ups and everything. It mm-hmm. gets kind of looking a little iffy. Mm-hmm. But there's some good parts with that one. Um, well, one of the other this issues, one's not good. The pro- well, one of the major problems with it is I think that the director chose to, to light him in a way where you're constantly able to see his eyes yes. through the, yeah, in the exactly. mask holes. Also the problem with any Michael Myers, you should not see his eyes. That's because no. that's mm-hmm. what makes him soulless. Yeah. Yes. The yes. absence of yep. the, yes. know, it's yep. the human yes. face, that is the what blank makes him human the shape. face mm-hmm. with no no eyes. Yeah. Once you see them, because then they give him expression. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, you get don't get it. I think in one. Yeah, of course, I don't think in the earlier movies they didn't have like the black mesh mm-hmm. that goes over the eyes like they've done in other movies. Uh, for Four and five, four and five, and six. I believe they had the black mesh that goes over it, so you couldn't see his eyes mm-hmm. purposely because obviously they knew that that's yep. a part of this. In the later ones, like in seven, seven, they had mask problems all over the place until they had to go back and reshoot everything. Yeah, I remember because the commercials had yeah. a different mask, had that different the, mask. And by the time you saw the uh, movie, it was a different. Oh, I mean, like, there's closer to the original. Yeah, closer look. to the original. They had a digital. In some shots for that. Uh, in this one, it's just eyes all over the place. Yeah. Eyes, eyes, eyes for Michael Myers. Yeah. Just, it's not good. To the point that they're almost coming out past, like, the edge right? of the eye hole in the mask Yeah, at they're some protruding point. Like, from the yeah, mask. Yeah, exactly. Like the mask is too tight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, mm, yeah. yeah it's, all right, so let's talk about. about the, uh, you were saying, whose fault is this? Let's talk about <laughs> the concept that they came up with. Right. Where continue. we're at in time yeah. as to why they made this movie this movie. Because we're in 2002. Right. Technology is advancing quickly. There's this thing called the Internet. Uh, you wouldn't know it in this movie. You mean the Internet like, audience? Yes. Yeah, internet like it was audience. just invented prior to this movie being yeah. made, it feels like. <laughs> this is a new thing, and cameras and are reality new television. Technology. Let's put, and, 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 this was 2002? Yep. Mm-hmm. So in 1999, right, the Blair Witch Project right. was released and became like the new big thing in horror. And the last Halloween movie was 98. There's was... 20 years? Yeah, yep. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Before that, so, yeah, 98. Yeah, so they hadn't had one. In the, okay, so this was like, Blair Witch comes out in 99, so you figure sometime between 99 and 01, they've nailed down the script. So Blair Witch is very yeah. much on their mind. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Did you ever see or hear of, any of you, a movie called My Little Eye? Hmm. No. This is a movie that got buried because it came out, I think, the uh, week. I think it had a preview a screening uh, the weekend of uh, September 11, 2001. Oh, yep. Oh. Not a great time. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> it just <laughs> torpedoed. You and Elsa yeah. also uh, debuted that weekend that tanked really hard. From hell. Glitter. Oh, glitter. The Meyer, oh, Mariah Carey movie. Jesus Christ. It came out right. No. In, yeah. <laughs> and she glitter. blamed September 11th oh, for that movie tanking. Oh, my God. Oh, oh honey. Yep. No. Yeah. It's no, not just, why. Just don't, just like, don't say that. Like, I'm the next Beyonce. Yeah. No, but September no. 11th. Had no, to happen, baby. my movie weekend. Oh, my God. Well, My Little Eye <laughs> is a movie about a uh, internet company that puts on uh, a, a, sh- a, a streaming show, reality show, where it gets a group of uh, contestants to spend the night in a house where there's cameras mounted all over the place. Hmm. So the entire movie takes place from, I believe, the entire movie is from the camera's point of view as you're switching between all of the different angles uh-huh. that have been set up. Like so Big you're always Brother going to, yeah. Yeah, to digital, vid, grainy digital mm-hmm. video. This is also before 
high definition video. Right. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Oh my god. So we're back in. It. So like. So I'm like, did the Halloween guys like see my little eye? I assume not because no one did. No. But it's possible that you know someone at, you know Weinstein's or whatever like saw it as an opportunity to distribute it. I don't think they did. Oh. I'm not sure who put it out, but it's like. Wow. I mean, I suppose anybody could have that idea following Blair sure. Witch and, you know, all this. Right. Uh, but, I mean, there is reality TV going on right, right now. Yeah. I'm pretty sure at this point, like, Big, Big Brother is a big say, thing. Oh, this is the height brother. of reality TV. Right, big, like, Survivor's really big yeah, right now. Big, big brother, brother is out at this point, yeah. which yeah, is The Bachelor is, a, yeah. is out someone, right now. Yeah, someone, I can very much see someone Temptation watching Island. Big Brother and being like, yeah. yeah, we can make this into a horror movie. Yeah. Fear Factor is a big thing right now at this point in time, too. It's a whole big thing right now. So why not just play right into that with Michael Myers? Well, we didn't know that we needed this until we got Got it. That no. we needed a found footage. This is the closest thing to a found footage ha- Halloween movie yes. uh, that we've gotten so far. Hopefully, it's as close as we ever get. Yes. There's no reason for a found footage. My no, God. makes no, no sense. Halloween movie ever. That doesn't mean they're not going to make it. Though. What do you mean it makes yeah. no sense? How do you set it up in this movie? What's going on in this? Like in this yeah. movie? Like how are they setting up what they're doing in this movie? Yeah. Oh well, they. I mean, they've uh, they're have acquired the Myers house as you would. <laughs> and Dangertainment. Dangertainment. Busta Danger, Rhymes. Busta Rhymes. Dangertainment. Dangertainment. And Tyra Banks. <laughs> and Tyra Banks. In a cameo appearance, basically. Basically. Yeah. Basically. She's got a few lines. But about look, but okay. she's on the cover. Sorry, guys. Looking at the video box here. She is like second biggest image yeah. on the video box. And she got like second billing in yeah. this, I'm yeah, pretty sure. It was like yeah. Busta Rhymes. She, had a, the, she was second to last like to Jamie credits. Lee Curtis. In the credits, it was said it? it said with Tyra Banks and oh. Jamie Lee Curtis. She was second she to last. She got the whiff. She got the whiff. Yeah. Damn. Wow. And but she's they, hardly in this. Tyra. Yeah. But yeah, even cut out her Katie Sackhoff isn't even on the cover. No. Yeah. Well, she well, wasn't she a was thing nobody. at this point. Yeah. But Starbuck she's in it from more Battle than Star Tyra. Galactica. Very true, but she's not a big name. Yeah. She was a nobody. But I mean, what about, what about, about Rowan Gardner? Yeah, yeah. with Henry yeah. Rowan Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where his stock was at at, at this point. He had yeah. done, I think, there was an American Pie. He did American Pie. Right, but he wasn't like the big guy in American Pie. Yeah, and that's true. Kind of that yeah, point. That's I think true. you know, Rookie of the Year was still his biggest thing at that point, mm-hmm. as it should be. I mean, as it should be, he should just <laughs> be live honest. in that yeah. world for the this rest of his life. This bums me out because a buddy of mine does the Hall of Very Good podcast, and he interviewed him, and I <laughs> forgot that he was in this. Oh, oh, yeah. be like, oh, oh dude, you got to ask him about yeah, Halloween exactly. Resurrection. Oh my god, <laughs> should have. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Yeah. So they're going to put on a live show on a Halloween show. night, and they recruit. Um, just now they college random? students. College they're students? all they're all college students. Not just college students. College students from Haddonfield University. Exactly. That's right. It's all college students because they'll get a scholarship if they agree to do this or whatnot. But he's recruited all college students to uh, spend a night in the Myers house. They mm-hmm. set up cameras throughout the house and given all the students their own cameras so that they could go in and explore the origins of Michael Myers and maybe try and figure out. Why Michael Myers ended up the way he did. That's There's the conceit right that's, there. That is yeah. how we're going to ex- justify why, this movie. Yes. We're getting mm-hmm. our protagonists into the house. Right. Yep. They're looking for clues that are going to uncover the origin, the, mm-hmm. the secret origin of Michael Myers. Why is he it's an like, unstoppable supernatural killing machine? And looking at the things that they found in this house, it's almost like Rob Zombie watched this movie and decided, I'm actually going to make that movie. And have yeah. it be like, look, fucked up things are in this house. Yeah. This is Michael Myers. This is why. It's basically that. I saw they a lot of things about he, he saw in this movie. Yeah. They were yeah. joking. He made it a reality. Yeah. <laughs> well, all of the kids have at least one uh, defining characteristic. I would say, well, I guess they, on a, they all have a major. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's, it. <laughs> yeah. that's, exactly. that's really it. Yes. That's I, really yeah. I really enjoyed the kid who believes that somehow he's going to be able to prove uh, that Michael Myers became a serial killer because of his diet. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite. Because Even he, Buster Rhymes rolls his eyes at that. Like, <laughs> You know, yeah, that's wonderful. He's a, Even he's the most a, absurd person in the movie rolls his eyes at that kid's yeah. theory. He's a culinary major. What, what else do you think about? What the most absurd person in the movie yeah. is the Buster force Rhymes. to be reckoned with, the God Almighty of Kung Fu. Watch but couldn't be bothered to memorize his lines for any scene. We don't know that for sure. It sure yeah. feels yeah, that maybe way. Maybe his paragraphs were written that way. To be delivered as soliloquies and monologues. That feels like it. Oh, my God. I mean, that's and then so if we just keep right? doing what we're doing, we'll be great at what we're doing. And I'm sure at some point they're like, like some of his Busta, you go. do what you do, and then we'll figure out the rest of the movie. <laughs> we'll build around it, you know? Can you imagine Rick yeah. Rosenthal, all right, all right, Busta, let's yeah. figure this out. In the wings, someone's like, are you sure we couldn't get Cool J? Yeah. Yeah, what yeah. happened? Cool J lived in that last movie, right? We couldn't, he wasn't contractually obligated? No? 
Okay, fine. You know he writes like songs for movies now, right? Like mm-hmm. he could write a song for this movie. He's like, right. what's his name? <laughs> like uh, Taylor or Ty or what is it? It's something Smith, right? It, Trevor Smith. Who? Oh, what? Busta Rhymes. Like, oh. Oh, oh, his real oh. name? Oh, yeah. yeah he's oh. credited it's as something like, really, oh, really, really generic like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, isn't always? I mean, isn't that why they give themselves? Yeah. Yeah. Because they have Chris Smith as their name, so they're just like, I gotta be Busta Rhymes. Sorry, <laughs> I gotta be Flo Rida because you know. <laughs> yeah. I walked it's on the floor and his music yeah. video Buster rhymes. <laughs> Bust out some rhymes. Awesome. We, no, we get it, Colin. You, don't, you and your whiteness don't have to explain that to me what that means. I get it. Oh, man. I understand. But you definitely feel like Buster Rhymes is going to be to this movie what LL Cool J is to Deep Blue Sea. And, and not just like character actor, but like will bring something to like... Where's my credits? Right. And there's Where no post song. Fin. There's no. Yeah. Yeah. My head is like a shark's fin yeah. version. Yeah. Of that's right. Song oh for this movie. Think like about the soundtrack rights, like, Buster. Yeah. yeah. Why Mr. Isn't Rhymes. That's all I wanted from Mr. Mr. Rhymes. That's it. <laughs> hey, Rhymes. <laughs> we gotta talk about lines. Excuse me, Mr. Rhymes. Like, come Mr. on. Uh, Rhymes. <laughs> Will Smith even Busta? wrote "There's a Nightmare on My Street" for Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> yeah. Like, Will why Smith the, why did the it. fuck can we get? Are you saying you're better than Will Smith? Will Smith's like shit. I'm writing a song. I'm like, I'm not even in this movie. I'm gonna write a song. Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. He was too, I'm sure, maybe he was too busy with the acting thing, and I guess so. I'm sure there is there is a rap song for After Earth. We just haven't heard it. Yeah. Just, oh yeah. He just writes this shit. He's like, you guys don't want to use it. That's fine. That's the last thing you're going to hear. Just in case you do, here right, it is. Here it is. <laughs> Slide it across the table to you. Use that if you want. After Earth. You mean? Earth. Oh my god. It's after Earth. Yeah. Oh my That's god, it. John. <laughs> That's, That's uh, it. Uh, <laughs> We're all going to hell. Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. think Scientologists believe in hell, so I mean, I think uh, we're, we're safe on that. We're good. But Buster Rhymes is, I mean, he's not anything like LL Cool J was no. in the last movie, where LL Cool J was LL trying cool to J do, looks like, subdued. this is, well, LL Cool, in the last movie, I think that that was, you know, uh, him, you know, like, well, I'm a singer, so now I'm going to go and try and stretch, you know, my ability and become a, a serious actor right mm-hmm. we're going to use the the cachet of influence that you have as this person and in this one like Busta Rhymes is like uh, I mean I said force of nature before but like his personality like he is the ultimate challenge to Michael Myers like <laughs> we have not ever seen Michael Myers go up against his true nemesis before we thought it was Laurie Strode maybe or Dr. Loomis Loomis had like the wily you know like the intellect that could come back right. combat you know the but Buster Rhymes is the physical force that can go up against yes. Michael Myers <laughs> yes Jason went up against Tina Michael Myers goes up against <laughs> yeah. Buster Rhymes I mean that's very true everyone's got to find a like meet their match at some point yeah. and overcome it. Who Who's knew the better it was man? Busta. Yeah. Who knew it was Busta? Who we didn't, we didn't know. <laughs> Apparently he is. I <laughs> could not tell how serious you were during that whole monologue. I was <laughs> like, I, it's okay. Like, yeah, like, yes. I Well, okay, I'm saying that it's ridiculous, but it's it is ridiculous. the way that the movie posits this idea. Yeah. Yeah. That Busta Rhymes is such an outsized uh, personality or figure <laughs> that only he could challenge Michael Myers. So much so. That the end of this movie was different. Mm-hmm. Deckard comes in and saves the day. He's the one who kicks down the door and comes in and saves Sarah. In an original ending. Or something. In an was, original they ending. shot four different endings what? in this movie. Yes. They shot what? a couple. What are you but, saying? But he kicks down the door. In fact, if you... I'm going to say it again. If you go frame by frame at the end of this movie... As Sean has. As I have... When he kicks down the door, there are still a few frames where you can blatantly see Deckard kicking down the door. And then it cuts to a different, slightly different angle. Really? And what? Okay. Comes in. Still in there. We need to go. Really? We need to it's still in watch there. this real quick. <laughs> it's still in there. But so they, he comes in and saves the day and all that. And they finally meet and everything. But I think they were watching dailies. And I think they agreed with you, Colin, that uh-huh. he was the force yeah. that Michael had to go up against. And so they changed the ending. So what you're saying is much like Cursed, the Weinsteins strike again in uh, ruining yeah, what could yes, be a great movie. I can movie. only imagine that that was the reason that Mr. Rhymes was brought back. In the end of this movie. And because he, there is a scene. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say his Kung Fu is no match for Wesley Snipes and Demolition Man. It's yeah, true. What? Because that Kung Fu was part of the ending, right? That wasn't like earlier. Oh, no. He was watching a uh, Kung Watch Fu Lee. movie, yeah. I believe, when the. Yes. Um, and he got mad because someone interrupted him while he was watching it. <laughs> whooping remember? everyone's ass while yeah. smoking a cigarette. Yeah. 
He has a scene. This is where we're saying again that you know, uh, Buster Rhymes is you know like a force of. Uh, he's a force of nature. I keep he's that. I he's find the, another. He's uh, a force of uh, nature. He's the calming voice of influence in this movie. No, it's no, not in the scene I'm going to talk about. This is a scene where Buster Rhymes walks in dressed as Michael Myers <laughs> because he is going to scare the shit out of the kids he's oh got in the house. Mm-hmm. Oh bad idea. God. That's a bad all idea. around really right? bad idea because right. they're going to attack whoever and they clock him over the head. But I've done this as a child. <laughs> I tell you guys that story. Oh, let's hear it. You went out on Halloween dressed as Michael. Yes, Myers when you were like with a real knife. Old. Yeah. Oh, oh God. yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I you told this. Wait, how old were you? Uh how old was I at this point? I had was younger than twelve. So you were been. for real, Michael Myers. Like yes. you were. Ba- oh, basically, real Michael Myers. Uh, basically, except I, I was younger. I had the you were in uh, a clown outfit though, jumpsuit and mask, gotcha. and real knife because that sounded like a good idea at this point. <laughs> but it was that That's we dressed right. up as that. Parents, listen to this podcast <laughs> about the corrupting influence of horror movies on children. Look at what it's it a makes cautionary you do. tale. Wait till I tell you the other story about the ghost face costume and my brother. I'll tell you that one later off. I, I, okay. I went out as Jason one Halloween and yeah. uh, quickly realized that like people were taking it seriously. Yeah, they were. <laughs> oh yeah. And it's, I mean, had they taken it more seriously, we would have been arrested. Because yeah, we were yeah. walking the streets of a small town with a real knife in a it, Myers in costume. Illinois. In Illinois with a Myers costume. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. shit we like. We got home and we like hid that shit from our parents. We're just like, they should know we did this. Yeah, we were hiding yeah. it. Uh, on the side of the house and everything. Uh, yeah, we, it was not good. Here, I thought up until now, it turned out okay. Now I remember this. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Buster Rhymes. Suppressed memories. A, but in yeah. this scene, Buster Rhymes, like, uh, turns around and, and Michael Myers is standing behind him. And he's like, oh, shit. And starts laying into Michael Myers. <laughs> in only the way that Buster can. Well, he doesn't know that, to be fair, at this point, he doesn't realize that it is Michael Myers. Very but true. he walks up to Michael Myers and he's fucking poking him in the goddamn forehead. He's like, get the hell out of here, blah, blah, blah. And Michael Myers sits there for a second and turns around and fucking walks away. (laughs) Because what would you expect to happen? It was just the awe. I think he was in awe of the presence, the glowing outside (laughs) presence of Buster Rhymes yelling at him. He just couldn't take it. He fucking was like... Shit, I got it. Well, because uh, all, all he's ever had is like Loomis trying to talk him down, right? right. Like mm-hmm. Loomis trying to be like, hey, man. Yeah, no chill. one's ever like yelled you know? at him. Yeah, before. no one's ever been like, fuck you, man, you know? I will say, I still use Scoot Skedaddle to get the fuck out of Dodge regularly <laughs> <Yes>. in my <laughs> life. <laughs> That's still something I say to people. So it does live on from There's this nothing movie. nothing wrong with that. That's no, that's, uh, that's one of my favorite lines from that this movie. That should be the pull quote for this. Scoot video Skedaddle box to get cover. the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> That, that would be good. <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing. Not for great reasons, but it is amazing. You don't think it should be trick or treat, motherfucker? Trick or treat. I think we have to that follow should, through. That we should, should be. just talk about all the Buster Rhyme stuff and double back into the other yeah. characters. I mean, we could. like Happy Halloween, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> burn, motherfucker, burn. burn yeah. Which, okay, I would. Burn. Like, I it's would at like, least three fucking oh, like, get yeah. some. one-liners at the end of this. I would like to request that a fan of ours takes that scene where he says, burn, motherfucker, burn, and then edit it to play burn, baby, burn, right after he says that. Like, have mm-hmm. that kick on. That would be a nice needle drop, I think. I agree. What I would was love his to final see that. one when he's leaving there? Like, hey, Michael, okay. happy Halloween. Mikey, or he calls him yeah, Mikey. Mikey, happy Halloween. There. That's <laughs> this is a thing that you didn't know that you needed to see because our heroine, <laughs> who we'll talk about, is uh, confronting Michael Myers with a chainsaw that she hits him with repeatedly and somehow is unable to cut him with a running chainsaw. But okay, but it's because Which, the man, the fa- the fabric. Michael Myers is made of fucking titanium, wrapped steel. Yep, mm-hmm. and, and the his only jumpsuit is you know. Bullet yeah, it's like Kevlar. Yeah, yeah. It's Kevlar yeah. jumpsuit. That's why he can keep getting shot. Right, I believe yeah. that. No, it, he's I like think Batman. He go gets this shit special made. Yep. And then he's like, I have to kill people in like next week. I think it's uh, scheduled. Yeah. Did he, he come? Did he he's come? He's got an Alfred or? somewhere. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what has he been doing all this time? He's a metallurgist. He's coming up with the threads Ooh, himself. himself. Can you imagine? Wait, wait. wait him basement? reading a book. The glasses on over the mask. He's just studying a book. Like yes, I think I've seen this. I would love to see that movie. Let's watch. I want to see him making all his like custom armor like Batman. I do too. But <laughs> full but full budget Halloween yeah. 8, 9, yeah. 10. I want to see that movie. Yeah. Somebody of him just like getting it. ready to go home to Haddonfield for Halloween. Yeah, or just, Halloween. Or just like a week in his underground yeah. sewer lair where he's just like fucking rats again. I wish something else would come down here. I'd kill for a raccoon. I like the way Sean is miming the like flipping oh, yeah, he's egg flipping or whatever it. Yeah, because he's morning. just got it on the button. He doesn't yeah. have it like a, in a pan. He's just got it straight on, on the, the burner. burner. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But Rat Buster Burger. Rat Burger. We've a demolition got man. Demolition Full man. circle. Full circle. Yes. <laughs> Full circle. That's what we do here. Back to demolition. That's what we do here. Is it Redberg? 
<laughs> but Buster Rhymes enters this scene, right? And I love Colin's fascination with Buster. It, well, Rhymes. because this is how the, how the movie like yes. wraps up. This is that yeah. Buster Rhymes busts it. I couldn't figure out any other way to do it. I mean, that's, that's what he does. Bust. He busts, busts in, in and uses his kung fu. On Michael Myers. His acumen. There's a, a moment, I think maybe when Buster arrives, actually, we think he gets killed early on because... Like, he gets stabbed a couple times. In well, the he, shoulder. Mm-hmm. In the shoulder. Yeah, not exactly lethal. <laughs> You're not going to die from that. I but mean, Michael Myers is not known to just, like, poke a person with his knife and then walk away. Usually... Be like, they, oh, you're good. Yeah. And he's dead. Yeah, he usually makes sure the, the project yeah. is complete. Mm-hmm. But I propose to you that Buster Rhymes is also made of sterner stuff than flesh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I knew it right at that moment. I'm like, there's no way that Buster Rhymes is going uh, down. Like, we're like, sh- they hang Michael Myers, and you're like, ah, he's not dead. I'm like, mm, Buster Rhymes right here. He's not dead. He's coming back, because he's Buster Rhymes. I see the road you're going down, and I love it. Please keep going down this road. Because it goes to Kung Fu. It goes to Kung Fu. I don't really have a whole lot more after this, except that he like, fights Kung Fu, but there's a moment, right? Oh. Like he's achieved the glow or something? <laughs> ah, it is! Oh, he, God, is. he does it. He has. He's achieved there the glow. He doesn't achieve the glow. That's why he fails when he oh, confronts he Michael Myers. Because in the earlier scene, there was like, I think he was wrestling with, Michael Myers had something he was trying to hit Buster Rhymes with. Buster Rhymes grabs it. And he's like, oh, it's like he's a broom like, handle. Oh shit! When he realizes, no. like, I'm no. like, my chi is not like strong. Right, my hands are not glowing. <laughs> yeah, I no just glow. pointed at Sean there. He's <laughs> on point. <laughs> so when he fights him again at the end, he was like, still somehow, I think because of the wound, maybe like some of his, you know, whatever makes him Buster Rhymes was leaking out. Oh sure, sure. <laughs> You're filling you lose in a lot of gaps that no one asked for. Oh, right but now. I love it. But no, let, don't it. stop no, it. I love no, it. Keep going. I love, I love. I love this Colin who more. hates what yeah. he just saw and has to make it entertaining <laughs> like, for himself. I'm aiming towards Halloween Nine: The Return of Buster Rhymes. <laughs> yeah. You're thinking more uh, about this than the people who wrote it thought about it. That's all I'm saying. It's Buster Rhymes like, uh, Covenant. But I love it. Is that what it but Buster Rhymes thought about it. <laughs> I guarantee did he, he did. did he? I He's guarantee like, I he get did. to fucking kick Michael Myers' ass. Yeah. He kills him by sh- electrocuting him in the dick. <laughs> that is I mean, how yeah. that movie ends. He kills him with a jackass stunt. Basically. Basically. And then Michael gets caught up in wires. Yeah. And he electrocutes him with Tyra S- Banks' Through blood. blood. Yeah, through yeah. blood. <laughs> So this through what eight movies we could have just electrocuted him and been done with it. I mean, I don't know could that we? that would have. I mean, but could we? Like, or did it have to? Was did. Buster Rhymes like the chosen one, and he had to, he had to be the See, one? See, there it is. is. Yeah. Yeah. Colin is slowly bringing us. <laughs> <laughs> slowly bringing us. I was like, exactly. Oh god. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Uh, at all seriously. I'm just saying. Seriousness. I'm just saying. Dude's been shot, pushed out of second story windows. That he got hung him. in this movie. He got hung in this movie, hung, and none of that killed him. That but being work. electrocuted in the dick, and he's done. Tasered in the dick, basically. Well, it's because Buster Rhymes figured out like where his chi was the weak- weakest. Right. He could see the weak. I mean, once you're if you're equal with Michael Myers, you can see where he is his weak points. There it is. There it is. There it is. I, I love it. That's fantastic. There you go. All right. All right. He knows. Like he has. They have gotten to the same level at that point. Like he's learned from his mistakes, and that he was, you know, he was defeated by Michael earlier in the movie, but he's learned. And yeah. He is advanced. Yeah. Now he is on the same level as yeah. Michael Myers, so he can see where he's vulnerable. I am with you, yeah. Colin. Yeah. I am on the same level yeah. as you. Yeah. I understand now. Uh, so we have legit turned this into a kung fu movie. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. It, it, it basically is at this point. Right. But Could you know you? what? Or at least that's yeah. the most interesting part of this movie. Could you imagine like Crouching Tiger, tiger Hidden Dragon level production? Of, crouching like, Tiger Hidden Busta. Yeah. That's no, all I'm like, saying. Like I'm them against each other flying through the air and doing all that stuff. I, I love it. I'd go see it. to be like Barry Gordy's Halloween right Yeah, now. there you go. Well, I'm disappointed that, that, that like some vi- I saw a video game that had uh, was it Mortal Kombat? They had the skins for uh, Freddy yeah. and Jason. Yeah, Mortal yeah. Kombat like yeah. X. Yes, Somebody they did. else like made like a, uh, it's a fighting game, but they use skins of, you know, like all the great, you know. They yeah. even have the tall characters. man from Phantasm. In oh, there. But they? you know what they don't yep. have? They have Michael Myers, but they don't have Buster Rhymes. They should. And that's a problem. I feel that's like there a is a video game that has Buster Rhymes. But two flavors go great together. We need to like make this happen. Right. Buster yeah. Rhymes versus Michael Myers. Yep. I would game. totally play. Isn't there, didn't someone... Someone uh, a couple years ago made the Mortal Kombat game specifically with the horse, like the yeah, horse, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was about. right. Yeah. Well, it's like, like they, a modded they, version, basically. Right. Well, yeah. they added them to Mortal Kombat. Actually, added yeah. certain them, but they actually, yeah, made but that game. But there's a modded version. Yeah. But there should be a Buster Rhymes in that one. Yeah, right. There's right. I mean, it's a mod. Like they an can unlockable do they want, character. So. Right. 
That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I have I have gone out of the realm of being <laughs> facetious, and I'm saying that would be great. Well, so we, uh, I would play that game. progress in your therapy right now. Yes, <laughs> yes. I am I am yeah. making there's, strides. I'm coming video, along. There is a video game called Def Jam Fight that has what? like rapper skins and Buster Rhymes is in that game. Oh, wonderful! How, yeah, we mm. need to bring these worlds together. Yep. Oh. Speaking of rap, I took a picture of the rap snacks that I told you guys about a couple rap weeks snacks? ago, so oh, just so I could uh, snacks, show it yep. to you. Mm-hmm. That was yes. a sidebar. Yep, yep. Just so you know that they do exist rap snacks do exist people i don't even I remember see. what episode that was we were talking about i don't remember yeah. it wasn't that um, long ago yeah. no all right we'll find it but he finally but i mean busta finally like defeats michael yeah he kicks him and he gets caught up in the wires he gets electrocuted in the dick we mm-hmm. haven't even talked about sarah yeah i was gonna say <laughs> Dawson's yeah. Creek girl. katie sackoff oh there is so much it is this is like a uh Dawson's Creek, Are You Afraid of the Dark episode? It, it is a like Dawson's Creek episode. Okay, but no, it, it really Creek. is. I, I'm convinced this is a throwaway script from a Halloween episode of Dawson's Creek. It is. Because that's exactly really what be. it feels like. Can, like you, can you imagine this same exact movie, but with like Pacey and Dawson and Joey? No, yeah. I'm real. Yeah. Yeah. Like, real. That would be yeah. great. Yeah. Why didn't they bored. just put all of them in this? <laughs> why? Yeah, why was this yeah. actually a Dawson's Creek Halloween crossover? Oh, that'd be so awesome. I'd watch that. I want that so bad now. I'd watch it in a second. Yeah. All right, but who would they be the, the characters who are because while we have our, our folks in the house, they're being watched uh, apparently uh, by only one group of intensely, people intensely. Yes, at a Halloween party, who yeah, you know, yeah. they're sitting around watching the monitors, and you know, um, who would they be in your Dawson's? Creek what the people game? watching the show? Yeah, they would be like the people they the Dawson's Creek kids go to high school with, like the tertiary. Characters. I know exactly who it would be. I know exactly who it would be Dawson's Creek, Michael Pitt. There was Jen's Michael boyfriend? Pitt, yep, he would be at that party Pitt with his. Was he was. Yep. He was Jen's boyfriend, right. and he was. He would real be with his, and weird. He would be <laughs> with his football friends yep. watching that show. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. Yep. Would be. And maybe Andy if she's back from. Oh, Andy! Italy, I Italy. About Andy. And maybe Andy yeah. if she's back from uh, Italy with her dad. You yes. know, <laughs> that definitely high Andy. She took. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I would agree. Mm-hmm. Well, Colin these characters. No, no, I'm sorry, I didn't watch. But I'm <laughs> these characters, the the viewers, right? Are yes. there because this the movie voyeurs. is making a comment. A uh, comment about how... Is it, what comment, Colin? The comment is about how watching reality television warps your mind so you're unable to distinguish reality from fantasy, and it's about the dehumanizing aspect of the reality television on the viewer and society at large. Discuss. <laughs> No, yes. you're reading too much into this. They definitely didn't I'm think of any. I would try. I, it. I would like, say, but I, mean, I would say he has a point because uh, if you look, I was joking. Yeah, I know you were joking. But just because we just, can pick it out the, doesn't mean they made that. I'm not saying they did. I'm just saying there could be something said about that. In all seriousness, look at the way like everybody else is reacting to what is actually going on. Yeah, if people you, are being killed and the kids right. watching are laughing because this is right. horror movie but stuff. What it's is, like, no, I think she really died for real. But what is like reality TV now? You watch. You know, real housewives, quote unquote, but it's people doing nasty and bad things to each other in real life where we look at it as entertainment. Mm -hmm. Like, but that comment can be made. Mm -hmm. Like, just because it's broadcast to us and told that is entertainment, people react to it that way. I mean, you joke, but that's a comment that could be made by us. We have movies like Halloween Resurrection to point that out to us because nobody else ever would unless Halloween did it. Did it just go up another notch? Another notch! Becoming one of the best Halloween movies. <laughs> it is right. still 50 notches below the next Halloween movie, but it's getting up there. But who it knows? By the time this is over, it might be right up there. In 20 years, it could get close. You never know. <laughs> I'm going to take it down a peg. He built oh. you up to break you down. He did. Because he does up. that. He holds stuff back <laughs> until the end, and then yeah. he's like, bam! Yeah. Bring it down. Well, I'm just... Uh, maybe this isn't going to torpedo the... <laughs> Torpedo what? Yes, it will. Torpedo right, yeah, Halloween, yeah, yeah. Resurrection. Halloween Resurrection. Okay, yeah. Just All right, fly, so man. <laughs> there's this character named Sarah. Yeah. Who oh, is, there is. <laughs> oh, the main character. Yeah. I know we quote. talked a lot about Buster Rhymes, but the <laughs> movie seems not? to think that the main character is this innocent <laughs> college co-ed uh, named Sarah. Now, when we first meet Sarah and she's being interviewed on camera for, you know, appearing in the show, how was she selected? It was just random? No, I think they they were submitted to be in it. 
And yeah, her they, and her other friends, um, Katie Sackhoff an and Sean Patrick Thomas. Yeah. yeah, there was an audition, and they submitted to all be in it because earlier in the movie, I think it's like real, like um, like real world style where they have to submit Basically. a video. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. The, the video audition. Talk about yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. So they all three got picked for it. Is it just me? Or Probably. Was there some kind of because I was trying to figure out like who all these people were? And then you're like, okay, that's a type. That's a type. That's a mm-hmm. type. That's that's a type. But then they're singling her out. I mean, obviously, because in the Halloween movies, you have the Laurie Strode type character, yep. right? Um, She's even twirling her hair at the beginning of the movie. But was class. there a, the impression or were they starting to to lay in an impression that she had some kind of personal connection to Michael Myers or the Halloween, you know, uh, the serial killings or something at large? Because just at the beginning, there was like hints of something where I was like, she's reacting in, to these things like in a way that's like, like it's no, sensitive. No, no. Like she's yeah. sensitive about them. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I got that, too. And it's like, okay, so it's going to become What's her tie. Or yeah, she's just a exactly. pussy. Yeah. A, what? a pussy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, or is she just a pussy at this point? No, she that's, just... that's legit. But the way she was acting, it, it seemed like she had a. Connection. I agree. It yeah. does seem yeah. like there's something never, like like Danielle yeah. Harris in like Halloween four. How she had like, yeah. a connection yeah. to it. Does yeah. she see Michael Myers at some point when he's not there? Oh, no. You know what is also doing it? Because this movie has the uh, the remnants of the t- n- the 1990s avid fart editing style. Where wait, wait what? What? Yeah. <laughs> well, because once she got once uh, once Hollywood Explain, discovered this please. amazing thing called digital nonlinear editing, they were ah. able to put these flash frames and over, you know uh, uh, double exposures sure. and stuff like that, that. They would do as a transition. Yes, this was really cool in the nineties. Now you hate it, but it was like you know, there's like three images yeah. in a row, and then you're on to the next thing. Yeah, and in this movie. There's a flash frame of Michael Myers in like every in transition. Everyone. <laughs> so yep. maybe that's mm-hmm. like subliminally it worked on me that like you'd see her, you know, looking all concerned or be- being very sensitive about what's going on. And then there'd be like a <laughs> transition where you'd mm-hmm. see Michael Myers and be like, but well, she's got some kind of hidden connection to Michael Myers, doesn't yeah. she? You're reaching. You are. No, that's, reaching. What, that's what I'll no, say. Was, you're reaching. There was something really odd about this movie that they seemed to plug him in everywhere in like. This weird connective way that didn't connect. There was even a moment when Deck was it Decker or Declan? Decker. De- Decker. Decker. When he Decker. was at his computer and there was a reflection of Michael Myers in his computer. Yeah. Why? Qua? Yeah, like when he's when his buddy's sitting there like railing him about about this girl when he's like getting way too involved in his online relationship. Really? Yeah. yeah. Of yeah. He, they show his computer screen and in the left corner there's a reflection of Michael Myers. In, like yeah. you can see really? his mask, yeah. yeah. All right, that's two things we're gonna go back and rewind for. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh yeah. shit! Sean's in to watch this movie again. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, we should say Deckard is is a guy who's in an online relationship with <laughs> Sarah. Right? Oh my yeah. god, this is so 2002. Okay, okay yeah, <laughs> but like in a Yahoo chat room. <laughs> yeah, um, he's played by Ryan Merriman, who, are, if you are more on my age of the spectrum of the freak show, you will know him best from the Disney Channel original movies, Luck of the Irish. Smart House. Uh, I remember Smart House. Ha- yeah, I remember Smart House. Smart House. He was the kid in Smart House. Wow. Um, okay. The I Ring Smart 2. House. I remember The Ring. Final Destination be- 3. Yes. Oh, yeah. And yes. Pretty Little Liars. He was also a series uh, regular on I remember as well. Final Destination yeah. 3. Uh, he's I a great character actor who does, sure. shows up everywhere. <laughs> great character uh, yeah, actor. Yeah. 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 You know what? Out of the generations of quote unquote of actual great character actors, I don't think we can call him that. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, that's an insult yeah. to great character actors. I don't think we can do that. I, we take that back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. But we yeah, don't mean that. We, like, he is a character by actor. Car- yeah. There you go. By yeah. character yeah. actor, do you mean he plays Ryan Merriman and everything? He's yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mean, yeah. yeah. He, and he, he has is the not same a haircut. movie star. No, no he's not. No, he's not, not at all. By that, yeah. <laughs> well, he is not a, not a leading man. Yeah. 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 Um, not but with hair. He's being, his friend basically is like, dude, you're being catfished before this was a term. Before it was is what he's trying to tell him. And he's but like, he no, man, her. I'm talking to her on her Palm Pilot. Right. He sees her. He sees who she is on the website for Dangertainment because they got to give like testimonials and whatnot mm-hmm. for we are the people going into the house. This is what we're like. He sees her. Do we ever find the origin of Michael Myers is evil? No. In no. This movie? His that's diet. Really Carl, in his this diet. This movie doesn't give a shit about Was that. Was it his diet? His diet. Because he was eating rats. He's eating rats. Down in the, okay, so mm-hmm. now. <laughs> see, sarcasm, Colin, has no, come okay. back now. I know. See, no, no, no. <laughs> There's a big problem with that, though. Was he eating rats when he lived with his parents and murdered his sister the first time? If you, go by, if you go by Rob Zombie. Him, they kept him in the basement. And, and, tied, to, tied in a high chair. 
Wait, it was in the basement? Well, no, no, no. I'm saying if you go back to the original Halloween, is there evidence that he was eating rats in that movie? No, dogs. That was no, no, was the original, no, original That's Halloween. That's what I'm saying, but there's evidence of him eating dogs. Before, in every original. before he murdered his sister? No. No. Exactly. Older. Exactly. But we don't know that. There's not any evidence before he got hungry. But, Michaela, that's why we have movies like Halloween Resurrection to fill in all these gaps that all these the questions The gaps we don't have. want filled in. I mean, really, though. Like, in places like Bangkok, rats are a delicacy. So. <laughs> right. There's not a lot of serial killers in Bangkok. Well, right? he doesn't cook them, though, so the rate... He had a hot that. plate. Colin? He did have a hot That's plate. True. He did. I, where did he get a hot the, plate from? I love the I don't give a fuck, Colin. It's, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. I wish I you could do exp- all movies No, like you explore so many different areas. You're just like, you get, you're just like fuck it, I got nothing to lose. I'm going to talk about this movie. I need to be able to do this with my own movie. So, yeah. the... Uh, so, we find out that not only... You know, you go down the stairs in the Myers house, uh, and... In the floor, there's a hatch that leads down to a subterranean labyrinth. <laughs> a, like, New York, like, brick yeah. sewer like old, system. Like, like, like old New York. Too. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. It's crazy. Where you yeah. go, like... Which, this is a guys, residential there's none of that street in Illinois, in Illinois. Right? Yeah. We can all we say there's none those. of that in Illinois, right? Have you, never, have, have you guys never been in the sewers of Illinois? I have. Michaela and I spend a lot of time naked in the sewers. <laughs> it's always sunny reference for always sunny oh, okay. reference. Of right. course, there was an always sunny <laughs> reference. That's like it's five podcasts sunny. in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, we love it. Yeah. Where's the tally board? There. Yeah. Yeah. All right, reference made. Right. <laughs> so down in the sewers of Illinois, down do in the you find like the torture dungeon or the occult room. Well, there's no occult room. They do not make a no, connection no, no. to the occult like they had in no, previous no Halloween. Room. I'm fine with that. In that's this, what I hate. There are yeah. long yeah. corridors um, that you can uh, put a bed and but a hot, this, this and a hot where plate. He's been hanging out for three years. <laughs> Longer, possibly I would say. twenty years. Maybe Red Conning Halloween H two O. He's been down there for twenty years, living in the basement below the basement of his house. Exactly. So did he like go dumpster diving for the hot plate in bed? Right. Like, like was he out fennel? and about? Yeah. Yeah. He had yeah, fresh spices. Fresh. Too. Fresh. fresh <laughs> no, no, herbs. Well, that, that was that was that the, was put that by danger tainment. Yeah. yeah. You don't yeah. think he was like gourmet frying those rats up? He's just like got <laughs> big flames going. He's like. <laughs> He's got like his own signature and... dry rub for rats. Oh. Can you imagine that label in the grocery stores? It's just him with a mask. And like... The mask with the chef hat on top yeah, of exactly. it. Exactly. Like... With, yeah, with the chef hat. With yes. the, with the like, chef hat. It's like Uncle Mikey's spices. Yes. <laughs> It's like uh, it Newman's, nice Newman's own. Rice. It's Meyer's own. Yeah, Meyer's yeah. own. Spices and rubs. Yeah. <laughs> You thought he was just a killer. He's a you killer didn't know killer he made chef. killer recipes. He's a killer cook. Right? Easy. He didn't know he was a killer cook. Yes. <laughs> Nailed it. Yes. It's done. Let's oh, end this bitch. Right, beautiful. So. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. That's how you remake Halloween. Oh, this is I'm telling you, it's the sequel. The 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 Revenge of Buster Rhymes. <laughs> the Revenge of Buster. He gets like his own Food Can Network show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All of this stuff. Maybe he's like spending all his time yeah. working out. Because we talked about, he's in yeah. really good shape. Like, he has to do a thousand pull-ups. He lowers I mean, himself from a bar by one arm. Can we talk yeah. about that? Incredibly oh. slowly. And he's, he's holding himself and Jamie Lee Curtis from the top of a building with a backwards hand. Yeah. Come <laughs> he on. He is in, apparently in great shape. <laughs> That's like Spider-Man How, shit. Where the fuck? Okay, first of all, that scene I have many problems with. Because first of all, where the fuck is he? Mm-hmm. Like, there's nowhere up there. He's There's nowhere to go. Like, he is not up anywhere to lower himself down from. Right. Yeah, you're yeah. right. And where's yeah. the dead guy? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, That's no, all I wanted. No, yeah. That's all I needed. <laughs> you are correct. Are there like exposed beams or like plumbing something. or That's something? That's what I assumed. Or it was like an yeah. arched ceiling and there were kind of beams and he was up. Well, and and, and like, the cop doesn't see the body walking into yeah. it. It's yeah. like right there. He's I focused the on the no, goddamn No, Colin. The, this the is the horror machine. movie thing. We discussed this like, before. I sugar. How everything is available in sight. Of the characters, in right. re- should it be reality? Everything is able to see for these characters, but because the camera that is filming this movie doesn't see it, that means the characters don't see it. I hate that. Yeah. It happens in horror movies all the well, time. You're a very powerful speaker, sir. You have changed my mind. Thank I you. I am yes. now not going to recommend this movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you were on the verge, Colin. I know you were just so, like on the edge. <laughs> listeners, if you understand the geography of this movie, please draw us a map and send it to us because we oh, cannot I, make heads or no, tails. No, I hate geography. horror movie this geography. Movie. Yeah, it, but this movie is especially bad. bad, like with its geography. But sometimes it works if it works for a scare like I, yes. I'm thinking of the scene in Evil Dead 2 where mm. Ash is looking out the door 
And like he should clearly see the guy who's about to jump in at him, but right, he does yeah. it. But it's shocking to us. Yeah. So it's like he should have seen that guy. So it works because you know the <laughs> like, effect. Well, let right. that go. Effect, right. But, and it does, it, but like, if it works well, then yeah. you can like forgive it and, and ignore this, it. And this, we're like, like where the fuck it. did you come from? Right. Yeah. It's just yeah. this no. whole movie. Every every scene looks like a different room we haven't seen yet before. Like every mm-hmm. scene looks yeah. like a completely different room we have never seen before. Yeah. Except for the kitchen, because that's where the spice. Setup comes. Yes. The Chekhov spice rack. The che- yeah. Chekhov yeah. spice yeah. rack. This is like the yeah. third podcast in a row. Chekhov's whatever has been yeah. introduced. Chekhov spice rack. You don't no, introduce gets... fennel in the first act, Sean. Unless yeah. you're, you're not going to fight fennel Michael Myers with, with fennel later. in the later act. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also, this is like the tiniest house in the world. How does nobody hear anybody getting killed in this house? Yeah. Tiniest? How, what are you talking? It's a uh, fucking cavernous mansion. On the outside, no, on the outside, it's supposed it's a to normal be normal house. Yeah, but you go inside and it's like never ending. Yeah. yeah, but like they can hear people screaming from the other rooms when they need to. But when fucking Henry Rohngarner gets killed through a mirror in one scene, <laughs> nobody Ryan's hears it. Yelling yeah. at Michael Myers. And yelling at Michael Myers. <laughs> nobody hears shit. Yeah. yeah. But when Jen, oh. but when Jen screams, oh Jen. They yeah. all hear it. I love too how like every character says like I think we heard it at least three separate times in this movie like oh there's no cameras in here <laughs> they're all wearing cameras like on their headgear yeah. while they're saying that it's they all have their own personal mounted cameras on their heads and they're saying there's no cameras in here. It's beautiful. Fair. They were high at the time. We will give well, them the second set. Everyone, the first set. Yeah, they were just horny. Yeah, I'm as good as <laughs> I guess. Nah. But they literally yeah. put it on your head. You're wearing it on your head. Yeah. You there was a whole like arsenal scene with there. with like noises of like gun noises. Oh yeah, the fully artist. Cameras on. The fully artist. Yeah. Went oh over my the top. god. Yeah. What the most ridiculous shit. Put it yeah. on cameras it's like, and it's gotta, like. Sh- it's, it's, the, it's the gearing up scene, but there's no guns involved. But we're no, like, well, but it we sounds gotta, like we guns have are to being make loaded. This interesting, yeah. so that we know that they're putting on cameras and everything and getting ready to go in. Yeah. So it's gun sounds. And it's like sh- the, it's like the arsenal sh- scene sh- from Hot Fuzz when Simon Pegg yes, is loading yeah. up, yeah. but they're putting cameras on. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. They're just yeah. clipping things together yeah. that sound like clips going into guns. Because yeah. this is exciting. It's yeah. supposed to, you're right. Yeah. We have to make this exciting somehow. Let's put in these. Sound because effects. what's really happening is they're just going into a house. Yeah, it's true. It's true. They are very much. So, so right. I mean, we get to the uh, we get to the end of this. I mean, Michael Myers is quote unquote dead. We get to a scene which is um, one of the most aggravating ones for me in this movie. Which one, Sean? I'll tell you. It's whether <laughs> everything's done and they're wheeling Michael out and he's in his body bag and everything. And she's is it like, in the morgue? Oh, outside no, the house. Outside, outside the, the house. house okay, I gotcha. And Sarah wants to see him. We don't know why. But well, she sure. wants to make like, sure. Does that she? He's dead. But yeah. she does. Does she know what Michael Myers looks like? No. Uh, she, um, exactly. Yeah, there's no, no reason. Does, there's no so. reason for this. There's no reason for a lot of stuff in this movie. But she ends up seeing him, and then like Buster Rhymes gives his little monologue on what Michael Myers is, and <laughs> you realize in watching this again why this was the death of this series. To have Buster Rhymes try and boil down what Michael Myers is, there's no better way to kill what is. To me, an iconic figure in horror than to just have him monologue about what Michael Myers is. Like, I think the effect he's it a has... Killer shark. He's a killer shark. He's killed so many people. It's not funny. He's a murderer. <laughs> to have... Uh, but it, it does so much to deflate the image of Michael Myers. Mm-hmm. I think it does so much to kill any mystique that he has. Like, it lays bare Michael Myers to the... Just... It kills it so much. Like, just that image of Michael Myers. It's just done. It does. Well, it was the last scene of this movie that did this? <laughs> Sorry. I'm s- uh, hold on. Like, there's a lot leading up that also does this, Colin. I'm just saying the final... Trick the stra- or treat, motherfucker. All right, hey. I'm saying the straw that broke the camel's back is... I mean, it's, it's all Buster Rhymes at this point. know where your line is. But... It's it's that like that like it really kills it for me at that point. Like it's a big one where I'm just like Ugh. I couldn't even I could barely watch it when we watch it again tonight because I know what's coming. I'm just like mm. they really it's like they in all seriousness it's like the filmmakers lost respect for what they had like going at this point going we're in what sequel number eight for this mm-hmm. series they're just like yeah. We're just going to do this. Like, they've lost appreciation for Michael Myers at this point. It's definitely, like, we'll just make it to make money. Like, that's what I hate about this, is that they lost respect for what could be, or what is a very big horror icon, and they are just trying to make money at this point. Do you think they lost it in this movie or before this movie? I mean, the previous movie has respect for it, I think, because it's got Jamie Lee Curtis comes back. 
It's and that that I think H two O is a very good entry in the series. I think it respects um, Michael Myers. It's not. I mean, it's not the execution is of the character isn't. You know, it's not the best that they've ever had. But I think there is respect. I don't think Jamie Lee Curtis would have come back had there wouldn't if there wasn't respect for the characters. Um, I think that I think they pulled it off with H two O. I think they really just threw it out the window in this movie. Mm -hmm. I think this is. Every movie is to make money. I get that. Mm -hmm. But this one is feels like it's only to make money. We mm -hmm. have no ideas. And so we're just going to make this because, hey, we got to keep it going. Mm -hmm. We got to make money somehow. I'm pretty sure Jamie Lee Curtis's picture in the video box is from H2O. It is. It, it is. is. It's got it the short is. hair. And we're in this movie. She has very long hair. It is. Yeah. yeah. It What's the tagline there? The, Evil uh, finds its way home. Oh, Isn't shit. that the premise of the entire franchise? Wait. Wasn't this originally <laughs> titled Halloween Homecoming? And yes, yes. The, yes, it yeah. was. There are, that if you, sounds like a prom movie. If you go online, there are a few scenes that are uh, different that you can find on YouTube only. Because there's a few different things that are changed in this movie yeah. uh, when it was Halloween the Homecoming. Well, listener, you're going to have to stick around to find out what Sean really thought of What do I really movie? think of this movie? <laughs> what does Colin really think? No, no, no. no you'll have to stick around and feel out what Colin really thinks of this movie. I don't think either one of those things are a mystery. It's what I don't think Kayla so either. and Holly think. Of <laughs> also, very true. Very true. But before that, we're going to read some listener mail. We're going to summon Igor. Igor, where are you, sir? Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you for bringing us the mail, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Thanks. Go back to your dungeon <laughs> with this hot plate. Oh, you mean yeah, sad. Oh, plate. yeah, that's probably Igor's dungeon. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. Oh my yeah. god. Now we've, Does he, do we not? Do we not feed him? No, we maybe we should give him some fresh fennel. You know? Yeah, right. Let's, Maybe give him, let's make that has, man a steak or something. He has rats in his hot plate. He's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. he's but fine. is that but is that what he wants? Is that making him happy? I mean, he's at this it's point. Him into at this point, killer. if he had anything else, he'd just get the shits. So he's uh, that's very true. Rats. Once you get used to that yeah. diet, you uh, just have to stick yeah. with rats. And, you know, I don't want to have to rub his nose in it and you know teach no, him that no, it's no, bad. No. So bad, bad. His diet is like Bangkok street food. So we're just gonna leave it at that. Aww. Well, folks, we are going to read some mail that Igor has just dropped off in our laps, but you can write to us, and we hope that you will, on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Oh, fuck, I was putting away a beer. I'm sorry. <laughs> At Sat Freak Show. I was dropping a beer in the garbage. God damn it. And by email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And sorry. please like, subscribe. It's like you don't need the, me. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so, okay. If I didn't have you, how would I watch Halloween Resurrection? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We wouldn't get yeah, these gems. We wouldn't get sarcastic Colin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, who else is sarcastic? Nick Hammond writes in and uh -oh. says, Halloween Resurrection, you mean Halloween in the hood. <laughs> yeah, yes. Know, basically, Better yes. title. It's true. Yes. Uh, Gary Lee says, who would have a problem with this film that exposes Michael Myers' one true weakness, foul language, and shitty kung fu? I mean, he's is. not wrong. He's not wrong. No. Robin no. backs up Colin. Robin Linneman Silverberg says, Hello, maybe sir. if I turn off the lights and say bloody Jamie three times while staring into a mirror, <laughs> I can get Sean to change his mind <laughs> back to urban legend. But it already <laughs> happened by now. So. Uh, yes. Uh, no, dude, hey, it's dude, still on the list. We'll we get tried. That. We tried. They did. They tried really hard. For, like, Colin was trying to persuade me by Facebook to not pick this movie. <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to give you a He's like, I'll give you a day. Think, yeah. Like, you, you think this over and I'm I like, sent, nope. Oh man. I wow. sent him various Jared Leto memes and nothing. They worked. really yeah, did. They really works. wanted Leto in this one. No, huh? no, I no. got a bug, I got bit, and I was just like, it's time for a Halloween movie. <laughs> Drew Scott writes in and says, for entertainment factor, this film had it. Buster Rhymes kicking Michael Myers into flames helped put an end to this series. Not saying I didn't yeah. like the film. I actually like all the Halloween films, though I'm not familiar with Halloween three so much, but does it really count? No, no it doesn't. Nope. No, no, it does not. It does not. Oh. Only Buster Rhymes can knock him on Michael's forehead and have him walk away. The busted touch. Good the choice, Josh. He's Good choice. This guy's backing said. everything this is Drew you said. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Uh, and Dom Creed. Just wait. Hello, Dom. Hi, Dom. Hey, there you Dom. go. Uh, right. <laughs> and it says, I have never seen the movie and do not intend to. Dom. Sorry, Dom. Dom, wow, Dom. watch the movie. Not even going to try. try. Yeah. Man. Give it a shot, man. But. He has always wanted to ask the Saturday Night Freak Show one question in the event of watching a not-so-good movie. 
which is not exactly a rare occurrence, he says. <laughs> so how do you rewrite this movie to salvage it Ooh. to make it work? You that's a very good thank you, Don. That's, that's a, a very, very good thoughtful question. question. I think we already said it. Yeah. You Man, take out every it? found footage <laughs> camera angle yeah, a part take, of this movie. You take something that was clearly made for Dawson's Creek and actually make it a Dawson's Creek. I, you know what? Would that be a good thing? That, yes. Yes. That, yes. Yes, that that's now, one option. Or you take it in the complete opposite direction and make it crouching tiger hidden dragon. Yeah, that's where I'm at. You there know? it is. You, yeah. make it, you cross the last dragon and Halloween and no, that'd be terrible No, it would be. But I think like if you put the actual Dawson's Dawson's Creek characters into this movie. I think that's how you make I, it. I would pay a lot of money. Like, to see I, it. Yeah. I would watch the shit. I, out I of would that movie. love that movie. Yeah, I think that would be great. I think that's the the, the in the, in our world that's the best version of this movie. As good yep. as this in can this get. universe, in parallel universe, yeah. it might be different. Yeah. yeah. On our over the top episode, and no, yeah, you can write in about episodes we've already done. And sometimes yep. we get your yep. mail late. We're sorry, that's why we read it, but mm-hmm. we get it and we read yep. it because uh, we love you. So Michaela had said that this is going to be the summer of Canon Films. Chris Huddleston writes in and says, "Sounds Shuts! like it's going to be a great Shuts! summer." Shuts! <laughs> What? He says Sorry. it sounds like it's going to be a great summer. Hope I don't Woo! let you yeah. down. Yeah. He bought Thank the soundtrack to Over the Top on cassette when it was released. I will buy that from you. <laughs> Dom Cree says, "Hi, Dom." Again. That our over the top episode was one of the landmark episodes in the history of the Saturday Night Freak <laughs> yeah, Show. I think so one. too. That was and a great he, episode. We had one. a good time with that. He thanks us for finally getting him around to watching this masterpiece. Oh, so and good. Nick Hammond writes in and says that this episode was internet radio gold at the arm wrestling yeah. at the end of the episode. Says we should have gone to Facebook Live with that goodness, especially oh, probably shit. we should have. God damn it, we should have. We should have. <laughs> says especially with Colin as the LeBron James of the dank dark basement arm wrestling federation league waste everyone in his path. Um, I'm sorry, I, I came say, really close to winning. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, you, did you fight? Michaela, like there's no, one, there's no. certain ones like we didn't cross over. Like no, I never, me, you and you and I didn't a, fight. Yeah, you, yeah, no, you and yeah, I didn't yeah, go. Yeah. And it yeah. was an yeah. elimination tournament. It yeah. was, yeah. But, but we didn't but fight over everybody. The top yeah. rules are double double elimination, this as they true. say in ADR a million times oh, in that shit. movie. Very it's true. double el- elimination. So you know, <laughs> maybe next year. Yeah. We'll oh yeah, we have our annual over the top tournament viewing. Will next year? We'll start out. We'll do. Uh, what should we call it? Mixed mixed tag. At yeah, that there point. you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a mixed tag match. We'll, Everyone we'll go male versus female at that point. Uh, <laughs> Everyone bring your hat that makes yeah, you right. uh, turn like, into a machine. Now I'm prepared. Like I will find <laughs> yeah, a hat yeah. within the next year. Now we know yeah. how to go yeah. over the top. Yeah, yeah. Yes. and everybody's exactly. like driving in their car. Like, yeah, just right. Oh my yeah. god, we all need to get down. those. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't hurt. <laughs> all right, so. It. That brings us to the most serious point in time in this episode oh, where we're going to do our down get final now? wrap up Because we haven't been for the past hour. <laughs> <laughs> what do we really think about this movie? Who's going to start us off? Colin! Colin! Why are you yelling? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Uh, I'm sorry! Hey, you, you're, you're I was gone for one episode, You've been off Holly. your game tonight! <laughs> I was gone for one episode. You missed your game. cue earlier. Yep. I need to feel needed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem I have. All right, all right but I'll right, give you a cue right, later but, on. But right, Colin, right, just so. give your fucking wrap up. Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this movie, let's see. I mean, basically, Sean has picked the worst of the hell. No, it's the It's the worst. No, but all three times. Like, we sit here and watch the shittiest fucking Halloween movies. Every time you pick one, it's the worst one. It is, it the, is worst the worst one. one. Yeah. And they just get progressively worse. Do they? Is the, Okay, so three is horribly bad. Yes. But uh, I don't even yes. consider it part of the Halloween It's not. Universe. It shouldn't be, and we should just cut it out. So I'm cutting it out. I'm yeah. not even going to compare it. So now yeah. we're, we're down to Halloween 6. The producer's cut. And Halloween Resurrection. Yes. Which one is the shittier movie? Six. This one. I actually... Oh! Six. Oh, all right. Six. Six. It is a decision you got to make right now. <laughs> there was possibly less entertainment value. With, no, I mean, come yes, on. Yes, there's like, less entertainment We sat six, there tonight, sure. and I mean, the only thing that kept me going was the fact that I was sarcastically <laughs> ripping the shit out of this oh, movie. Oh, that's wonderful. Right? Where I think what, during six, I was actually giving it a shot. Like, right. I'm going to yeah, look at this right. like Just a real like, Halloween right, movie. Because this is another option of this movie. This is hilarious that Sean's it's like. It's like a bonus he, movie. Uh, this one? No, part six. Like, you get two movies in that one. Like, it's a bonus Halloween movie. Mm. You get the other version? You get the other oh, version. yeah. Because it's two yeah, different yeah, versions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta watch like it twice. No, no, all right. it's a, Like, you're being it's murdered like you, you twice. Ha- yeah, you're being murdered twice. Yeah. yeah. You have to watch that movie twice. I like that uh, 
that Sean said that, you know, that by the end of this movie, the filmmakers revealed they have no respect for Michael Myers. I'm like, they made a movie that was a found footage film that starred Buster Rhymes. And it's a Halloween sequel. I'm like, okay, so right there, they've lost respect for Michael Myers. It's evident from the very first, like, two minutes. When he shows up, it's like, these guys don't care. They don't care. They don't know how it works. They don't know why he's popular. They just know if we put this shit out, the people who like Halloween movies are going to go see it. And Sean, proudly, I'm going to say that I saw... What, you know, of the since I got to the theater going age, yes, I've seen every Halloween movie yes. in the theater except this one. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Because really? I you didn't knew. see this one? No, fuck no. that. I saw that. Oh. I knew it's fucking Halloween with Buster Rhymes in it. Oh, this no. is like the one where they're like, we're shitting all over everything oh, that you love. No. Just gonna shit on it. And I'm like, well, fuck you then. I'm done. I'm not giving you my money. Oh, and because no. of that, they're like, Rob Zombie, we gotta get Colin back. Come and fucking make, <laughs> do something. We know he likes your devil's rejects. Colin is not watching these movies movie. anymore. I, I you skipped didn't. this one. I skipped wow. it. Wow. I do that. There's points where I go like, fuck these people. <laughs> see, you've gone too not far when Colin won't see it. Shit I respect you for your limits, sir. I respect you that you can identify where you're just like, no. I found I'm it. not going to go see that. Yeah. I'm glad you found your limit. Yeah. I respect you for it. And so then I caught it, I think. About, I don't even think I watched it on like video or DVD. I think I saw it on like TV, maybe. Wow. It's it always like, on TV. It was on it's like cheap. maybe cheap. Uh, like the you know, AMC. The Fright Fest, yeah. Something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, finally, this movie's coming around. Like, Let's look at it. And it was like, eh, Starbucks in it. That I So, yeah, I knew <laughs> yes. it was Starbucks. Yeah. yeah. So Same it had here. to be after Battlestar Galactica Oop. when I first Katie saw Sackoff. this movie. Thank you. <laughs> um, but this is, I think, the first time I've actually sat and watched the full uncut version, like, you know, with uh, full attention. And it's, I mean, just, it's an ill-conceived movie. It has all the problems of a 90s slasher movie that you just, you know, either forget or hate. The only thing that, you know, I am I'm, swear to God, before we even get to Sean, he's going to be like... <laughs> The reason I watch this is because it's called Halloween. If it was called anything else, this would be one of the shittiest fucking movies that he's ever seen in his life. And it would be just like forgotten. How many times you watch Valentine also came out somewhere around there? Yeah, twice. It's around the same time. Twice. Okay, well, he's a braver soul than I have. Well, maybe I did too. I think I saw it once back in the day and hated it. And then, you know, like 20 years later, gave it another shot. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Directed by the uh, same guy who directed Urban Legend, which Jamie we almost Blanks. watched tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't remind Jamie, me. <laughs> Jamie Banks made a short film called like "Sorry, Wrong Number" or something like yeah. that. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. And so because of that, yeah, I'm yeah. like, eh. yeah, but um, yeah. Uh, I made. I think I made it sound like it was a better movie than it was. You know, it was <laughs> but uh, you all it. have to realize but that I was sarcastic, it. Colin. Yeah. <laughs> Throughout the entire podcast, yeah. that was sarcastic, Colin. Yeah. That's I, a, I yeah. hated it. Yeah. I hate it. I hate this movie. Uh, but Michaela's is right. Six might be worse because. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a it's, it's a sh- it's somehow stuff. a shittier movie. Even though this one, like, we're saddled with having to watch this grainy fucking found Oof. footage stuff all the time, and it's like, ah, uh, this. Oh, why do I have to fucking sit here and watch a movie that can't even fucking shoot itself right? You know, or it can't be shot <laughs> yeah. well. Uh, ugh, is it? Maybe I'm gonna say it's a tie. They're both like at the very bottom mm-hmm. of the Halloween franchise and all these, uh, you know, slasher movies. I mean, this is the thing. Like I loved them all so much when I was a kid. And as I get older and more removed from them, it's like, I start to look at them and like, you know, like I, it's better if I don't go back and watch them. If you just love them for how you remember them, I'm but make you watch seeing them, them again, <laughs> like kills it. And you're like, ah, oh, this really is kind of a shitty fucking movie. But I really love the first one. You know, I mean, the the first one still holds up as a all time classic well, horror everyone film. Loves the first one. That's yeah. why I can't. That's why you don't bring that to the freak show. I know that's everyone loves easy the first one to love. I can't. That's a movie I can't watch anymore. Yeah. I'm just, I can't. Like, I, I realize it's perfectness. I realize I've seen it so many times. It's just like, I can't do it. That's why I, I, I'm, you know. Have you seen it in a drive-in? <sighs> the first one? Watch no, it in a drive-in. It's a different venue, experience in a drive-in. Sometimes the venue and the yeah. people, even yeah. if you watch it with changes, that, you know, eventually mm-hmm. one day yep. you're going to get to watch it with your son. And, and then you'll be a watch great him moment. get scared or he'll fucking yes. hate the thing or whatever. Like that yeah. is the and next you'll die inside right. when that he is, hates it. Yep. Yeah. Like, oh, I never thought about that. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> yeah, you have that to look forward yeah. to. Yep. I actually thought of all the sequels, the fourth one was a pretty decent attempt yes, for it. Yes, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Yeah. The fourth one's good. But beyond that, they're all basically crap to me. I mean, yeah, oh. trying to follow the fucking thing. Well, no, the second yeah. one. Sorry. I mean, I like one, two, and four, and then mm-hmm. everything else can go to hell. Yeah. Uh, so that's, yeah. Skip yeah. fucking hell. You already did. You're a wise person. Yeah. You didn't watch this fucking movie. Uh, congratulations, yeah. <laughs> Michaela. All right. So I agree with a lot of what Colin said. I'm a Halloween purist. I think that the Halloween franchise is one of the you- greatest franchise of like modern horror. I think that I think a lot of times people think of the big three of like of of you know modern American horror. It's it's Michael Myers, Freddy, and Jason. Yeah, and, which they should include Leatherface. It should be four. It should be four. Well, yeah, but it's usually three. Yeah, of Pinhead, and then it Chucky. goes down from there. And Chucky, it goes and down. Yes. Yep, yeah, it goes down. From, and and you know, <laughs> yeah. scream, are we face, just gonna keep scream, listening? Yeah. Yeah. No, we um, can't do that. And then eventually, it was <laughs> but I mean, it goes down okay. from there. But oh. but I think that like you know like I think Halloween will always be in my top ten of greatest horror films of all time. I love it, you know, and my love for it never goes away. I just it's it's a good thing to return to every now and then. It's it's a nice like um. Like security blanket of like this will always be reliable. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, so for, I'll just go through my ranking real quick of these movies. <laughs> so number one obviously is the first one. Two is the second one. Three I would say is number four. I would agree. Okay. I think number four is number is number oh, three. Geez. Number four? <laughs> no. You just said number four was. I thought you said number three. No, number no, four no, is no, number three. She no. skipped over number no. three. No. <laughs> number four is my. It third. gets confusing when you're ranking ones three. that are okay. labeled by no, number. No, no, no. Oh. no my oh, number three. Attack, no, right. no, no, no. My number three <laughs> in like the best <laughs> Halloween in the franchise is the Return of Michael Myers. Number four. Yes. And then after that, I think I would say Rob Zombie's Halloween actually comes number. four. Four, it's not four, a bad eight. movie. Yeah. And then I would say after that comes this movie, Resurrection, and then Rob Zombie 2 Halloween. And then I would say five and six and whatever's left are at the bottom. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Wait, where's um, seven in that? It's it's H two O. H two O is probably uh H two is probably right around where Resurrection oh! is. Yeah. Um but I but I think five and six are definitely the worst ones of the franchise. Like oh. those are the two that I always come across on cable and it makes me angry because I'm like, I don't want to watch these. You know, like I don't want to watch these. They're so bad. Like I, I remember hearing it. <laughs> you 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 come across it like you're like you have to watch them when they're on. That, that's your anger. Like, oh, I don't want to watch it. I'm sucked in. I'm like, why are you making me do this? Like, you don't have to. It's like, oh I have to. I know, but it's so frustrating when you see like AMC Fright Fest and you're like, yes, fuck you. Yeah, and you go into Halloween Five, and you're like, oh, God oh. damn it! Like, you know, it would have been two hours. <laughs> yeah, exactly, oh, I could have seen bitch. something better. No, Halloween Three is definitely <laughs> at the bottom of that list too. Halloween Three is just doesn't even make the list for me. But I, I this movie, it is it is a product of its time, definitely. Like, it's, very much so. This movie would not be the same if it were made five years earlier or five years later. Mm -hmm. This is, however, the only Halloween film to be made outside the U.S. where it had scenes shot in Canada. What? Who do I talk about this earlier? Not me. Yeah, Did, yeah. You might. I brought yeah. Canadian Club tonight to drink, yeah. and Colin's like, "Why? Because this movie was made in Canada." Shot in Canada. I'm just like, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Apparently it was. Yeah. And <laughs> but you didn't know it. So I it had count. no idea. But it counts yeah. now retroactively, Colin. And uh, IMDb classifies this as a horror comedy, so I think that's what. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I think that says Did everything. Did you not you hear to... Busta's last last tagline? Yeah. Obviously. Um, and I I like to think that that's like the same retroactive kind of view on a movie that Tommy yeah. Wiseau has of the room, because like Tommy Wiseau calls the room a black comedy, where it was like when it first came out, it was a hard drama. So I yeah. think it's kind of like that. It's like retroactively, they're like, oh, this is so comedic, we have to call it a comedy. Right. Yeah. But More I don't than think yeah. Any, I don't think anyone involved with the movie is calling it that. No, no, Rick no. Rosenthal no. will call it that, and no. none of the actors will. No, but Jamie the Curtis will call it a it's joke. Per- but is that yeah. sure yes yeah I just I, I kind of like Colin and Sean kind of talked me into almost recommending this <laughs> um, <laughs> almost what? yeah like <laughs> see see what you do you think you're being sarcastic yeah. but you have influence on people yeah <laughs> look what you do oh, Colin oh no what if we um, this um, <laughs> but, okay if you love Halloween as much as most of the people sitting at this table do 
don't watch this movie because there's nothing more for you here. If you want just like a cheesy, <laughs> there's like nothing left for you here. Yeah, there's, there's, nothing, no, there's left. nothing left. If you want a cheesy, bad, like kung fu, horrible <laughs> exposition plot holes the size of fucking semi trucks movie, then go for it. But I wandered alleyways just going, there's nothing left for me now. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've I've seen seen you saw a rat in a hot There's plate. Nothing else. <laughs> I have nothing in life. Um, so I would say I recommend with caveats, depending on your opinion of Halloween. Uh, I would like to point out that there was a line that a car- an actor said that cameras are so phallic in this movie, oh, which Jesus, yeah. really, never really seen stood out to us. A before. Yeah, Ugh. cameras are not inherently phallic, so <laughs> that made no sense. Oh, and um, if you really, really, really want to watch a Tyra Banks movie, just watch Life Size. <laughs> that's, yeah. like, that's that's a much I, better I, I hear Tyra Banks. Making movie. another one, yeah. So there we go. I would say Coyote recommend Ugly. with caveats. Watch Coyote yeah. Ugly. That's I would rather there watch Coyote Ugly. <laughs> yeah. That works too. That's, I actually enjoy that movie, yeah. despite what many of will think about that. Yes, yeah. Sean's a big girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. So recommend with caveats. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, oh fuck. This movie. Um, I would say it's probably on par with six. I, I think they're about equal. I, I hate them equally, I think. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like this was just a cheap generational horror movie. It was just how many current techno- technological references can we throw in in one movie and use B-list uh, 90s actors who are no longer doing anything that are just sitting around in the early 2000s. Um, yeah, what's Bianca Kalick doing right now? Yeah. Nothing. It's, Nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Do you even know that name, Bianca Kalick? Do you know who I'm no. talking about? Dawson's She's Creek She's Sarah. Girl, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Dawson's Creek Dawson's No one Creek knows that girl. name. Yeah. 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 Um, Nothing. Yeah, I 30 I minutes feel- or less. That's it. That's uh-huh. what she's in. That's the same with, like, the Black Christmas remake. There's, like, the lead girl. Like, yeah. you can't even remember who she is. You remember the supporting people. Who is the lead What's girl? her name from uh, Pete and Pete and uh, from uh, Harriet the Spy? What's her name? Oh. Michelle Trachtenberg. Michelle yeah. Trachtenberg, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, and Eurotrip and mm-hmm. what have you. She's yeah. in Black Christmas, but yeah. not the lead girl. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. the lead girl, but yeah. the lead one you don't remember. I, I, don't, remember I don't. I'm just yeah. thinking about it now. I'm like, mm, yeah. nope. I think her, she had like a big arc on Gossip Girl. That was like her biggest there you thing go. that she's done. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, yeah, this one's biggest arc was on awesome, Dawson's Creek, so. Mm-hmm. In yeah. the sixth season of Dawson's Yeah, it's so like the last season the last of the show. The last season, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel like everything's already been said. This, this Buster Rhymes was uh, entertaining. It's the best I can say, because it's Buster Rhymes in a Halloween movie. Like That in itself is just funny. But he's no LL Cool J. No. You know, no. he's not. He's not. He's not. LL Cool J has no... a TV series right now. Does Buster Rhymes? No. Honestly, I would he have probably been... could. Mm, he's he's fat. Buster Rhymes right up. now. I'm he's sorry. No matter what Busta does, he's not going to have lip sync battle, and that's no. the best. Right, show. that's true. He's I love two, that show. Right. I'm sorry. LL Cool J has two series right now. Yeah, I love lip sync battle. I could watch that shit all day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I yeah. did actually today. Um, yeah, no, I just uh, God, I I wanted so desperately for there to be a Busta song at the end of this. There if there should have been, if there had been, I probably would have been on the fence about this movie. But right. there wasn't. That, it was just never underestimate underestimate the power of a, a movie themed song at the end yes. by one of the stars. At it least. will it will automatically bring. It bumps it up. It, it um, like brings it up a notch automatically. This did not. It granted it had the Halloween like theme kind of. Modified. <sighs> Modified, yeah. yeah. But no, it just it left me wanting more out of every aspect of this movie. I so I cannot recommend it at all. I just hard pass. Hard pass. Hard, <laughs> hard pass on this movie. But at least you didn't hate, hate, hate this yeah, movie. Just a hard pass. Just no. a hard pass. Just a I hard mean, pass. I mean, I Colin's one who hate, hate, hate. No, no, I yeah. didn't hate, hate, hate. That, no. no, I reserved that for only two minutes. <laughs> oh, it's very true, very true. I still laugh. Is Home Alone no. one of them? Yes. <laughs> Home Alone is one of those yeah. movies. Hate, yeah. hate, hate, hate. <laughs> oh, my God. Halloween Resurrection. Um, I love this series. I love it so much. 
So much so that I will go back and watch the inferior sequels every now and again. Um, but I think when we get to Halloween Resurrection, I think we have hit the most, uh, the inferiorist, is that a word, of sequels. <laughs> um, I place this well below Halloween 6. I'm even in the producer's cut when we get supernatural and shit. Like, at the end of Super Part 6, Paul Rudd lays out a bunch of rocks that stop mm-hmm. Michael Myers. And even that is more acceptable to me than what they did to Michael in this movie. Because what they did to Michael... Michael in this movie was they disrespected him. And I don't play that game. Homie, don't play that, <laughs> is what I'm saying at all. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Homie, don't play that because. That's a living color That's reference. That's an in living yeah, color reference. I know reference. what it is. Thank I you. watched in living color. Thank I know you. what it is. He, he is our hometown boy. It Homie is. The clown. But I Got don't, it. I, I don't <laughs> like what they. Uh, it, it, it is the. I mean, it literally is the end of the line for Michael Myers at this point. Like, they reached a point, and it, uh, somebody had to realize that this is like, wow, this is not. Like, he, like we, he might not have died start. at the end, but he died. He died. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. Like, he didn't. But he died. Like, this is it. This killed a franchise. This is because, like, not because, and I'm sure at some, like, maybe it made some amount of money, but, like, there's, after this, it's just, like, I imagine people who made, who are in charge of this series were just exhausted at this point and didn't know what to do with this. And that's why it, like, laid dormant for so long. But they do a lot of stuff in this movie that just, it's like, it's not... Mm. It makes this one makes me angry. Ah, but I will tell you the things I do like about this movie. There's certain uh, characters or scenes that I do like in this movie that I will go back and just watch them for those scenes. Um, I do like the guy who knows the history of his serial killers. I like he gets the, he gets like him wrong. Idea. I like the idea. I like he, does, the, he does get I like them very the idea wrong. Of him. He gets them very wrong, and I like them. And maybe that's more. Yeah. But I like the idea of him. I like yeah. that. The whole it, it's the whole. It, it kind of leads to the whole mystique of Michael Myers. Like as he's walking away, he gives kind of like a backstory to him. And, and a history of him. And he gives him the knife, like he's passing the torch? Or at least, no, because that scene to me means, like, here, you'll be the one who's, like, charged with these murders. Like, you'll be responsible for this. Yeah. I know, but the other guy, he that's how he sees it. I mean, the, maybe. The patient, yeah, yeah. Maybe, because he's yeah. crazy. But See, yeah. I thought his analog was, like, in the Rob Zombie remakes, you had Danny Trejo, like, that was basically Exposition Man explaining all of, of, like, so I kind of thought he was the same way, like, yeah. kind of just, like, yeah. Exposition Man for all serial killers, but, especially Michael Myers. Right, but it's, like, he gives, to me, it's, it feels like more than exposition, than, even though that's what it is, but it's almost like they're taking that moment to build up the mystique of Michael Myers. It's just, like... This is kind of his history. This is what he's responsible for. I think they could have done it way better, but I like what they were, the idea of what they were trying to do in mm-hmm. that part. So I enjoy that. There's one scene in this movie that I think kind of gets, quote unquote, Michael Myers right. Um, when the girl dies uh, in the sewer, when she gets impaled on the spike in the thing, after she's dead and everything, there's Michael walking away and a slow move of the camera back and just the musical cue that hits at that point. Is it's, it the Halloween theme? It, it is, but it's just a very vague piano version of it. It's like, dun, 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 as Michael is walking away and the camera's going out. It's a very it's uh, a very brief scene, and it's... Um, it's it's a weird thing to pick out, but I think in that moment they capture something that is Halloween to me. I don't know what it, you got to go back and watch it, but just for that brief moment, they hit something that feels cool to me. Wouldn't it be great if it was like an assistant DP that did that one shot, right? And it, and it probably it was. Like, was. Like it probably only, was. He's like, like the you know only what? fanboy on right. the set. Yeah, like, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll yeah. get this for you. Mm-hmm. But I think in that brief uh, ten seconds, they got it. And then the rest of the movie happens. Um, it's it's the worst Halloween movie. Like <laughs> it, it, it really is to me. And maybe you question why I bring this to it, but but that's my fascination. I can't bring Halloween to this podcast because obviously, like it's it's a classic. It's great. I love it. I um, it's so much so. I've seen it so many times. I can't like. I can't watch it anymore. And there's other movies that I I love as well, but my fascination with the series is in where they go wrong or where they go off track. And I want to know why they go in these directions and why they choose to do these things with these characters 
And the things they decide to do with Michael Myers, because, I mean, we've gone this far, let's go this way with him. And so I like to explore those little areas of it. Um, Not to say that they're good, because they're not, because, you know, we got Halloween Resurrection. It's a horrible, it's not a good movie. Like, it's a horrible movie. But it's got moments. And if you're a big fan of this series, like I am, you'll watch this movie for its moments. Because you get a few peppered throughout. Not many. But they're there. But that's, I mean, it's not enough to recommend the movie because it's a horrible movie. But if you're, you know, if you're a big fan like me, you'll go back and watch just those scenes for it. Like I do. Because I don't go back and watch this whole movie. I can't do it. But I will go back and look at the scenes that I do like of it. Because it gives me an essence of of what Michael is and, and some parts of the movie that they got right. Because other than that, they disrespected Michael Myers in this movie. And I cannot forgive them for that. I don't recommend this movie. I recommend little bits of this movie. And I think the people who are as big fans of this series as I am know what I'm talking about. And they can go back and see them. So I don't recommend it. But I, I, I can't. <laughs> like, I can't. Sounds like you are. Right? I, 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 no, I can't. <laughs> I mean, maybe with major caveats. Yeah. Like, ah. But it's I, got Michael Myers in it. I but can't it, hate it. I can't hate it. Cause I do like, hate No, I do hate it. Like, I mean... I, I hate because uh, especially watching it tonight, I'm like, oh god, I hate what they do with this because it's not Michael Myers. It's just it's making it like we want to make some money, and tonight kind of cemented that fact. This like they don't they don't care at this point, and I want filmmakers to be in charge of franchises like this who care about what they're doing with these characters, and I believe that there are those people out there, but I believe that the people who got in charge of this one were not people who cared about this character. And I, But I, I have, maybe I'm naive enough, but I hope that there are people who still care about these characters and can still make good movies with these characters. And that's why they live on so long as they do, because Michael Myers has been going on for a long time, and I think because at some point, even if we get missteps, we still get a filmmaker every now and again who cares about these characters and can make a good movie. And I hope that's what we can do continuing on from here. So I don't recommend this movie, but Halloween. Like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I, it's, it's hard, but you I... You are recommending I lo- the franchise. <laughs> I recommend the franchise, not this movie. Just the certain elements that I, I'm pretty sure other people... Uh, can recognize along with me. So this movie is uh, horrible, but <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't recommend it. But you know, there's there's parts. Michael there's parts Myers turns thirty years old next year. What? So, what? What? Wait, yeah. what? Isn't 2018? That's thirty or forty years. Forty. I was thirty. Thirty. Sorry, the franchise. Yeah, 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 for, thirty and forty. Thirty-five at this point. The yeah. franchise. Yeah. Turns forty. Forty. Michael yeah. Myers is much older. Than well, he's much older. Yeah. As long as so, we've known he's him. sixty. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I mean, if it's in your collection, you're probably gonna pop it in every now and again. But yeah. maybe just skip over and go watch H2O. This mo- this is a movie that's like so pretentious too. This is the other thing that we missed. Like at the beginning, it announces the fact that it's a found footage movie, mm-hmm. and like from a, a you know the, the the first person perspective mm-hmm. by like doing this quote unquote homage to uh, Peeping Tom, yeah. where the guy has the fucking tripod because every tripod camera tripod has <laughs> a, a sharpened uh, point, a sharpened point uh, uh, sh- hidden in it that because yeah. it, it like extends right. one leg and impales a dude like. This is because when you see that, it's like Jesus Christ, like this is just like the height of, uh, you know, like, ooh, look at, you know, like I re- I have seen films as a director. This is Rick mm-hmm. Roth- Rosenthal, yeah. right? Yeah. Like I've seen films and I know, you know, and I'm going to like show you that, you know, this is like, dude, yeah. just, you know, <laughs> clear yeah. jets. For a film that we all hated, we this is one of our longest shows. I yeah. know, right? yeah. Yeah. but it really is because, I mean, it's just connections to a franchise that I think most yeah. people love. A gigantic franchise. Uh, it franchise. is. Yeah. It really so is. I apologize. Maybe we're going to probably long. keep talking about it even after we <laughs> probably yeah. Yeah. because yeah. that's like the breadth of films that have come in this. I think yeah. it deserves it. But <laughs> this movie alone, I mean, maybe we've wasted some time. Well, so, Holly's right. The listeners are sitting there going, "Like, what's coming next week? What are we going to be oh, watching next week?" I think week? they are. Yeah. So right. we're going to be watching Holly. <laughs> Let's pick. 
Yes. <laughs> you see, this is why we've been yelling over you tonight. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I will get back into the groove. I was gone for I one episode. That out of prey. We're going to be watching no. a movie that's chosen by... Holly, me. Hi. <laughs> I'm doing things. You can't just do it when I'm in the middle of something. Uh, Seven twice one more time. Right. Next one more. week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Holly. Next week, uh, we're going to be watching. <laughs> we're going to be watching a film. Um, we're we're going solid with the summer of '90s here, and Uh-oh. I've been uh, I've been mulling this one over all week. And actually, I changed my mind during the show. Next week, we're watching Deep Blue Sea. Yes! Oh, my God! Oh, no. Oh, my God. All right. All right. L.O. Love it. Coming at you. Love it. All right, so that's next week on the Saturday fault? Night Freak Show. <laughs> well, afterwards, we're going to find time. out what the other movie was going to be. So next week, it's Deep Blue Sea on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, the basement is going dark. <laughs>